Hey guys, this is Bell Bowser, also known as Broadcast Bowsette, coming back to you with a little bit. Uh, well, I say coming back to you, but we haven't actually played this on on this yet. We're playing a little bit of Skyward Sword today. We are not playing with a Joy-Con controller because we believe in pain and suffering. Uh, we're playing with the GameCube controller, like we always do. Uh, uh, that scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, cool, alright, I gotta read fast and quick. Okay, otherwise it's gonna cut me off. Good to know. It tells of a war of unmatched skill and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. No problem. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. motherfucking loud. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. No problem. Uh, they burned at force to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. Hi, Demon King Ruzo. How are you doing today? How have you been? Fortunately, there's no text on screen for the moment, so I can... Uh, they did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. This should be flashing fast. You know I can barely read to begin with. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by the gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. I turned the volume down for you guys through OBS, but you got no idea. This is blasting. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Can I, can I, can I talk to people now? Are we good? Okay, good. I love Legend of Zelda. Demon King Ruzo, that's totally fair. I mean, I stream late as shit. I know it. So, that's understandable. Thank you for stopping by and coming to hang, though. Uh, you know, before you go to bed and stuff. I appreciate that. Much love there. What the hell was I going to say before this began? Like, it caught me off guard with the super story in, like, the first few seconds. Um, and the music just like wiping out my eardrums instantly. Um, options? There is, there's, there's nothing for sound. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'm sure the rest of the game is not nearly as loud as that intro was. So that's okay. I love me some Legend of Zelda. Guys, I know I'm supposed to be playing Pokemon today. I didn't really want to play Pokemon today. I love Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying right there. I definitely need to play more Pokemon soon. But I had a serious hankering for something more action-y. More, I got to swing a swoot around and beat the hell out of bad guys and stuff. You know, that kind of thing. So, it's time to bust out the Skyward Sword. Uh, yeah, sometimes we just got to play some Zelda. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what we're doing today. Today, we're finding people's cats on roofs and making them real happy. That, that's, that's the plan today. 
Also, you know, just listen to those old classic jams and, and kind of nod in our head to that. I like how one of the best jams has always been, like, the save file screen. Because they gave that the old fairy fountain music. And I'm like, yo, you probably should put this, like, later in the game instead of putting it, like, right at the start. Because you're hitting us with some of the best and we haven't even gotten to the game yet. This is the kind of thing you kind of put in, like, as someone's having a revelation in the game, like, oh, the true evil is, and you're playing this in the background, and people are like, oh, damn, this is real, you know, like, instead it's like, what's your name? Here's the best music in the game, by the way. What you gonna name yourself? Figure it out. Then it'll never come up for most of the game. No one's gonna say out loud your name. Mm -hmm. You know, like, just, I don't know. That, that's just my opinion. Doesn't they just want to start strong? You know, you can't fault them for that either. That's true. Like, you do want to lead on the right foot. Fair. <laughs> No hate, no hate. I'm just like, interesting choice, you know? I hate this boss. Just gonna say that right off the bat. That I remember from the Wii. <laughs> that thing's gonna piss me off later. Like, y'all gonna hear me cussing? I apologize in advance. Possibly shouting. Nintendo presents. But I remember liking pretty much the entire rest of the game. The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Swoop. This is gonna be one swoop game. That man running like Mega Man. I still think this is the cutest Zelda too. You know, when they show a close-up of her so you can actually see her face, which is not supposed to happen yet. Getting that good sleep in. Never mind, getting that awful sleep in. That is a nightmare, in fact. I've had a nightmare like that. <laughs> Rise, Bowsette. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. Hey, OGB. I'm doing pretty decent. How are you doing today? Did I... I already gave you an invite to the Discord, right? Like... Sorry, I've got, like, the tiniest of brains, so I gotta check that real quick, because that just occurred to me. Like, sometimes people add me, but I don't invite them to the Discord immediately, because I'm like... I don't know if they want to join the Discord... I don't think I did, because I am a complete dodo. Let us fix that. We're going to fix that right now, literally while stream things are happening, because I'm very bad at prioritization. There we go. That's a little bit more appropriate. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay, to answer your question earlier, just so that, you know, anyone who's watching the video can also get the answer for later um i did go to the doctor today in particular i went to the allergy specialist because i was trying to figure out you know what the hell's triggering all the coughing and weird shit going on lately that's been 
kind of putting me straight out. Uh, I am pretty heavily allergic to some things that I did not know about. Uh, a whole group of trees like oak, pine, stuff like that. Not sure which trees in specific, but so great. Yeah, going outside, not actually good for me. Awesome. Um, ragweed's really, really high up there. You know, just all kinds of weed pollen. It may be possibly including weed. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? I had a weird reaction to that that one time that I got a whiff of it. I've never smoked it, of course. Why would I do that? Um, dust mites. Moy to me. So, you know, if I move into a new place and it's got questionable sus dust in places or... If I go to a store and people don't clean properly or some bullshit like that, apparently I'm about to have a reaction, so that's really cool. Um, and one is not too surprising, uh, mold, mold of any sort, I have a pretty bad reaction to that, which, I mean, I don't like mold being around to begin with, so what the fuck ever, I guess, that makes sense. And... Last but not least for the normal test that I got. I didn't really get like a super extended test or anything beyond that. But um... Roaches. Gross. Don't like them. Extra gross. Turns out, hey, also allergic to them. Definitely allergic to them, oddly enough. So uh... <laughs> hate those. Yeah, that's great for moving into like new apartments and sus locations, you know. Even if they don't exist, if they previously did, I'm gonna have a reaction, so that's awesome. But, um, so yeah, there's, there's some, there's some fairly significant allergies there. My arm, fortunately I don't have a model for that, but my arm looks like someone took like a, you know, a, a, a big gigantic stapler to it and just kind of had a field day. I imagine my back probably looks a teensy bit like that too, just not as bad, but you know. Hmm. hmm. Wait, I'm silly. I may be done stirring, but that still has to steep more. That's not nearly long enough. That's been like 20 minutes. That's not enough for me. You're fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. Hi, Krenaya. I love you. How are you doing today? The time, is um, the time has come for you to awaken. Bowsette. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Awake-ish. Did you get a nap at least? I know you were talking about being... <laughs> I know you were talking about, you know, debating whether or not you were going to sleep or, or be here or whatnot earlier. I like the Ukus. Um, I like... I like... Just about all of, Twi you know, not Twilight Prince. Well, yeah, Twilight Princess too. I like just about everything from Skyward Sword, actually. The only thing in Skyward Sword that I didn't care for uh, was specifically certain versions of the Demise boss, which made me so angry, like I had to step away from the game. <laughs> Back on the Wii. Uh, but everything else, I was like, oh yeah, this is great. And then, like, I saw all the hate for it, and I was like, I don't... Whoa, all right, people really don't like this game. I'm, I mean, yeah, there are some, like, goofy things in it, but, I mean, Zelda's always been that series where you have to do something like pick up a bunch of rocks and, like, throw them at a wall, and then some guy's like, thanks for getting rocks out of my garden, and you're like, cool, you know, and stuff like that. Or, hey, could you cut my grass? And you're like, okay, I guess that's a quest. But you're still a noob, so yeah, that's a quest. Nobody knows you from like Adam yet, so fuck it, I guess. Um, I don't know. You know, things like getting the cat on the roof and stuff like that. Hey, sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in. So I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Bowsette. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> like I really like the art design I like the characters like the, the the bad guys letters make terrible alarm clocks I'm just saying I think she means really the bird this is looking really clean compared to the I mean it is supposed to be HD 
Blue rupee. It's worth five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet for now. Letters are decent alarm clocks when they're delivered by giant birds. Exactly, right? Can I roll yet? I can dash. Wait, I don't think you got roll in this game. You just got dash. Because they added the stamina bar. Couldn't you, couldn't you control the camera before? Or am I crazy? Oh, you got a... Ooh, that's different. I'm pretty sure that it was just the, the thumbstick before. That's fine, though. I'll, I'll get used to that. Uh, did I explore this place? I don't know. Was there anything important? Wing ceremony is today. Riders, Groose, Cowlin, Stritch, and Browsette. Who will claim the prize? Ah. More than Browsette. So today's the wing ceremony. You ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that Crimson Loftwing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that Red Terror of yours. Of course, bird's true speed in a race always comes down to skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know, you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. I hope everything continues to be all right for you. Other than that, motion or button controls. I, well, we're playing with a, uh, we're playing with um, a GameCube controller, so you know button controls. Uh, what was I gonna say? I'm also, I'm about to go call back the hematologist because they were supposed to call me like last week. With a referral to a neurologist, I'm trying to get this shit fixed ASAP so I can get the fuck back to work without, like, half passing out every, like, three hours at work. So, tomorrow, I basically yell at, well, not tomorrow, today, technically, I basically yell at them about, hey, where the fuck's that neurologist appointment so I can figure out what the hell's going on, because shit is not adding up. And I need answers. Like, this is not something I can just, like, sit on and wait, like, months upon months to figure the fuck out. Especially if it's anything that's, like, ongoing damage. If it's gonna, if it's gonna stop for, like, a while, that'd be cool. But this is happening at least every few days now, if not multiple days in a row, for, like, months. That's an issue. I can't keep it dealing with that. I'm getting pissed, yo. Like, I'm as pissed as I'm scared. <laughs> Hey, Bowsette. The day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use. All those practical skills I taught you and all the academic prowess Instructor Horwell taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using the mm, C pad? I, I don't know what I would even call that, to be honest. Um, the, the arrows. Press arrows when you want to take a look at your surroundings. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's an option too, I guess. Use R to move the cursor to look around. You can press Y to return a cursor to the center of the screen. Uh, press up to stop looking around and return to your normal view. Okay, so yeah, some of these controls are a little bit different. All right. I don't like that Y isn't to dash anymore. I'm pretty sure that was dash before. Maybe that's the swing of the sword now. Maybe I'm just misremembering. It's been a while. That's okay. All right, fuck me, I guess. That's cool. What, did, did that guy just spit in that barrel or something? <sighs> Good morning, Bowsette. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I I didn't ma make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over the kitchen. Oh, it was him struggling, not spinning. <laughs> I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Bowsette, but I guess that's the way it goes. Goddamn wow, buddy. Appreciate that. Um, yeah. Nope. No, no, no. How do we? How do we throw? How do we throw? Is it bomb bowling? What? No. I want to toss it. How do I toss? Oh, this is an issue. I don't know how to toss. Yo, tell me how to... Oh, there we go. Tilt R up and throw with ZR. Oh, this game's gonna be complicated. There we go. Yes. Throw it. There we go. Oh, okay. I just figured out the direction thingy. No. Gosh dang it. All right. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna fuck that up a lot. Okay. No problem. 
Uh, throw. Give me that. And then... Okay, I was overcomplicating that. Alright, okay. Okay, we definitely got direct different controls. At least I don't have to use, like, the joy, joy pads for sure. Joy cons. Wait. Where in the clouds is that fledge boy? He's supposed to be bringing me barrels. Sometimes I just don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Can I help him with the barrels, I guess? Motion controls were kind of lacking in the original release, but I'm not sure how well the button maps are going to work either. They're probably going to be fun. They're probably going to F them up a lot. Yes, sir. I got you. No worries. You got some help. Can I move a teensy bit faster? No? Okay. That's cool. You probably don't want to drop this. So just get that about right here. And then set it down right about here. Go get the other one while we recharge. Give me that barrel. Come on. You're going to watch the races, sir. Don't worry. I got you. You can. I think you get paid for it. They don't got to pay me. I'm just doing this so this guy can watch the races. You know what I'm saying? I mean, pay's not... Go I'm not going to complain about pay. I can always use that. That's always helpful. <laughs> Okay, how far in do I need to bring these? Like, up here with her, I assume? Yeah, okay. We'll do that real quick. Steps don't cost us extra stamp. That's good. Am I flexing? What's all this? I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Ah, it's probably for the best. That skinny kid would probably have gotten flattened. Say, don't you have some important ceremony or some such today? Hmm. Well, thanks for the help. I do, but, you know, I'm trying to be nice to, like, my fellow villagers. Here. There you go. <laughs> Boom. No pay. Now let's go talk to him so he can get all happy. <sighs> thanks, that was a huge help, Bowsy. <laughs> I know it's not much, but here's half of the pay the old lady offered me to do that. Oh, all right, I guess I do get paid, thank you. You got a rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend all in one place. <laughs> I have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with the ceremony, Bowsy. Okay, I feel, like, I feel like we did a good deed. I don't need to go in there, that's cool. All right. Well, excuse me, princess. Out we go. Mwah. How you doing, Gameplay Boy 2222? Thank you for the lurk. I hope you're having a great day. Or had a great day, as the case may be. It is pretty late. I know I stream late as shit. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey Bo's that up here? Who's speaking? Oh, it's you again. Alright, gotcha. Oh. Good morning to you, Bowsette. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. So does now Slushy. Slushies are good. I like slushies. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me and we can have a quick chat. That's just... Oh, good. That's simple. That's, that's just straight up like Ocarina of Time targeting. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? Uh, it's been a while since I've had a slushie, but... Should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Well, here's our first fail. Okay. Hop me on up here, and then zoop that around. Okay, we're okay. Never mind. On we, I totally just fucked that jump up and and <laughs> like three times. So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Bowsy? Oh, you have someone to meet. Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Get 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 Get. Gaipora? Gaipora? Gaiapora? 
has a pet named Mia and, well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? Headmaster's so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and, well, you see. Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? Sure, no problem. Ooh. Fantastic, so you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off the ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. Terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, like, Ego Raptor had a point on this one. Like, I don't mind the quest, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just a little bit strange. <laughs> um, alright. Do I need to hippity hop on over there from here, or? No. Okay, good. Alright, good. Um, I'm not breaking those pots right now. I need a sword. That's what I really need. Here, just huh? scooch back up there. Let me figure that out. What flavor of soda? Um, I'm gonna say blue raspberry. It's been a long ass time since I've had. Oh, this ledge. It's been a long ass time since I've had any, but I like that mess. Let's just let's just leave. We, we're not that out of stamina. All right, drop. Okay, now I can just jump. And we scooch on up here. Honestly, after Breath of the Wild, though, I, I don't feel like any kind of climbing is going to do us in. Um, yeah, I want to... Nope, I want to push. There we go. We know how to do that. We get used to that. That's the Legend of Zelda constant thing. Chewy. Chewy is delicious. Come here, cat. Cat thing. Yeah, I... Cat, nope, that's not what I mean to do. I just want to face my view around. Okay, there we go. Wrong button. Tiny brain. All right, is this right? Is this is this where I want to jump down? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Hey, take this. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Bouncy. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Share no props. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh uh, yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Don't spend it all in one place. Why, why would I not tell the others? Like, what's the problem with me having a red rupee? Is I'm not, am I not allowed to have money or something? The hell is that all about? Save, please. Yes, please. Save that gam. Thank you very much. What the fuck does this do? Oh, right. You got a stamina fruit. This peculiar fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Pretty important later on. Not so much right now. Thank you. I say that's steeped enough. Get this damn tea bag out of here. I want to drink my tea. <clears throat> Damn it! Oh, you guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite Earth and Sky. Okay, just saying quickly, thanks. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I wasn't trying to sing the whole thing anyway. Whatever. It's cool. I'm not upset. It is fine. Whatever. No biggies. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. If I feel well enough later... I'll stream a little bit of Mega Man X Dive too. I don't know how long. Just because, you know, I'm testing out some different settings to see if they run a little bit smoother than what we had last time. But we'll see. Um, towards the end, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I, if I want to do that or not. Unless I start breaking out into freaking coughing fits again. If that happens, uh, fuck, 
Fuck, fuck that. We're just going to try to manage our normal stream. But, um, hi, Miss Random. How are you? I haven't gotten to see you in a while. I haven't seen notifications about you streaming in a while either. You've been okay? Should I be worried? Uh, the instructor paid you to climb on the roof to rescue the headmaster's pet that he lost. Maybe he doesn't want people to know. That's fair. He, it, it, it's hush money. You're right. That makes sense. Kind of glad I gave him a sort of slightly mafia voice now. Hey, good morning, Bowsette. Got really nasty hate raid and took a long break. Oh, shit. I'm sorry to hear about that, hon. You're like the last person in the world that deserves some bullshit like that. Hmm. They've really been going around, aren't they? They're like fucking dedicated. Jeez. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. Hmm. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I don't understand what's going on this year. I, I don't understand what's going on like this last year. Like, the... Ever since, like, the zombie plague hit, people have just lost their minds. This is the one time we should be trying to, like, maintain some kind of solidarity as a human race. Right? Like, we have something that universally threatens all of us and we need to stop fucking around with. And instead, people are actually, to me at least, acting more hateful than ever before. Like, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I do understand that humans have probably always been the stupidest animal on the face of the planet, which is really weird because we're leading a food chain. But I don't understand. Of all the times to be super hateful and fucked up and crazy, now's not the time. I don't know. Maybe they just got cooped up in their home too long. I live cooped up in my home. I'm not I'm not going to go crazy. This shit could go on for another, like, five years, and I would be like, eh, well, it is what it is. That's the life I already live. Fuck it. I still am all about, like, treat your fellow human being as, like, a fellow human being, not as, like, a creature or something. You know, no one likes misery, so don't inflict misery on other people. That should actually be basic sense. You know? Facts, I'm like, whatever I got my Hello Panda snacks in my video games, so no worries staying indoors. Exactly. But a lot of people are straight up tripping. Like... Two months in, they were straight out tripping. And, and, and the more... The, uh, Link's expression right now. The longer this goes on, like, the fucking crazier some people are getting. And I'm like, how you are acting makes no sense. Is it outside of the norm that you've got to do some of these things? Yes, I get that. And that is the reason to be like, hey, I'm trying to adjust and maybe I'm stressed out. Okay. But the extreme amounts of, like, hatred and, like, going out and being, like, all fucking crazy and shit there's nothing that justifies that like at the end of the day people doing that kind of stuff still don't deserve to go to sleep at night and feel like an okay person like if anything you should feel worse than ever everyone is going through shit right now so to go around and try to promote more of that and just try to make people feel as awful as possible now of all times there needs to be a reckoning for you I'm just going to say that right now. Um, I'll also say that if you make it a mission to harass people and make them miserable and you like make that a point, you are officially my enemy for the moment you decide to do that. That's terrible. Don't do that to your fellow Koopaling. Don't do that to your fellow human being. Don't be an asshole, you know? Hey, speech was basically endorsed by the leader of the free world. Nothing to do with pandemic. Everything to do with people believing they can do and say whatever they want. No consequences. I agree with that, but I also want to point out that part of the reason that got us out of hand was because of the timing as well. And with that timing, I mean also the pandemic. Pandemic has raised like fear and terror of people to levels it wasn't at before. Like, before I could just say, hey, that person... I'm not going to get into super specific politics, but y'all probably know exactly what I'm talking about. That person is a fear monger and a hate monger, which he was, but he's just kind of doing his own thing. And a lot of us were like, he's fucking crazy, you know, and that's it. But people kind of stopped saying the he's fucking crazy part 
when the pandemic hit because everyone was already scared of everything under the sun after a few months into the pandemic. Now he's saying all this stuff and people are saying a lot less he's fucking crazy and a lot more, you know, everything else is scary and shit like that. So I'm not even thinking about that anymore. I'm not putting two and two together the way that I'm supposed to be because the fear is already there. Now I'm just redirecting it. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's just the impression that I got. I'm no specialist on politics or anything like that, but that's the message that I saw. Before pandemic, this bro is crazy. He probably needs to chill. Yes, people are listening to him. Don't get me wrong, but not, not nearly as many or as violently or as clearly. Pandemic begins, all of a sudden, oh shit. Too many people are in their home to resist things like these riots and shit like that and, and all this other bullshit. You know, just, I, I don't know, escalation, I, I don't know. That's that's my take on it. But I'm, I'm not going to get into talking politics today. If there's anything that's going to stress me out, it's going to be that shit. So, but look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in Legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be furthest to see me like this, Bowsy. So how do I look? I'm going to say great. Like, this Zelda... When, when this game started, I was like, oh, you know, I like, like, Twilight Princesses more. And I think, um, even initially, initially on, like, initial reaction, I kind of liked, like, um, Breath of the Wilds more. But this Zelda is the one that grew on me the most. Like, I started out like, uh, interesting take. Like, she's cute, but not my favorite. And then about, like... Maybe like a quarter, a third of the way into the game, I was like, this is my favorite Zelda. Like, definitely my favorite Zelda. I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Bowsy. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Hi, Pirano, how are you? Damn, it's been eight months already? Holy crap. Oh, hello, Father. Yes, definitely more than Ocarina. Ah, Bowsy, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual of Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Well, well, damn. That vote of unconfidence. Oof. Um, yeah, I like Skyward too. The only thing I don't like about in Skyward is demise. Like, a certain couple of forms of demise piss me off immensely. Uh, but yeah, more than Ocarina. I love Ocarina of Time, but... But... Favor is Majora. Hold on. Oh! I thought I thought Mr. Anna was talking about which Zelda do do I like the most. My bad. Majora's pretty good. My favorite is my favorite Legend of Zelda is Wind Waker. Cute girl next door Zelda instead of strong independent Zelda or bookish and insecure Zelda. Exactly. Kranaya, you feel me. You know me. Recently Bowsy hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, look at that, look at that despair. That is a fucking mood right there. That's, that's just the, fuck, you just, you're calling me out right now. Come on, don't do this to me right now. Even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around. Probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Especially against Grouse. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, 
Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond as bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Bowsy and his loft wings share a special connection. Never seen anything quite like it. If I was role playing, I, you'd expect me to be Twilight Zelda. <laughs> uh, well, you know, um, I want Twilight Zelda to step on me. Well, you know, degeneracy is to a degree allowed here. Just, you know, keep it like, I guess, R rated? I don't know. Hi, Juicy John MCD. How you doing today? Welcome. <laughs> Good timing. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic night. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. <laughs> we are only made whole by our loft wings to guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Bowsy and his loft wing was extraordinary. Ah, just kiss. The bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. It was a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. I'm trying to do that voice from, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Megamind. Um, the, you know, fake space dad. He had that one voice going for him. I really, really like that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to give him that, but I'm trying to do that. <laughs> yes, and the boy and his bird seem to share a profound connection from the moment they met. You recall when Bowsy and that loft wing of his first met? What a sight! Oh, beautiful, magnificent to the eyes. The little boy had just hopped on up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. <laughs> Not saying I'm good at the voice, but I'm trying. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Bowsy and his bird. Anyone who's part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> ah. This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. It's kind of important. If Bowsy doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Bowsy messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? This would be a pretty short Ooh. story then. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Bowsy. Look at that cute smile. Listen, Bowsy, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. <gasps> Come on, you'll thank me later. <laughs> Here we are, go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wings. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. How can you stress that poor girl out so much? You know, sleeping. Sleeping for like 20 days in a row instead of waking up for an important ceremony that means everything to the village. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Oh, fuck! Okay, Bowsy, go ahead. Just press directional pad down and call your loft wing. Uh, that's no good. Mm -hmm. Huh. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. 
At least it wasn't 100 years this time. That's true. <laughs> that is valid. <laughs> Hang in there, Bessie. I've got you. Yeah, we do normally get pushed off of ledges or hit off ledges or thrown off ledges in these games. So that, that's, that's probably the right way to start things off. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? This is very odd, Bowsy. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. Eh? Ah. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Bowsy? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony's about to start. Hmm. Bowsy, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well. I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own Lachlan, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. Well, we know it's red. Because they keep calling it Crimson Lachlan. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Bowser, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race just a little so you can find your boy. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Bowser asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Uh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I explained the situation to him myself. Bowsy, run along to tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. I mean, get... Oh, oh, his laugh wing. I got you. I feel you. Hi, Rena Knight. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to that stream. How you be? Okay, you know what? I am actually getting used to these controls for looking around and stuff a little bit. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's a little awkward to look around and run at the same time, but it's doable. I'm locked out of here, right? Is something wrong? What's the matter? What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Ghost's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Which way? Oh, I think, uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know where they went. Lofwing L, that'd be kind of cool, actually. My sir. Yo. What's wrong, Bowsette? You're looking a little pale. What? Your Lofwing is missing. How strange and troubling. You think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? I can't fly in a ceremony without a Lofwing. I kind of have to do that anyway. I mean, that's just common sense, really, when you think about it. Now it looks like your participating ceremony hinges on feather or not, you could find that bird on time. Ah 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 Um, excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I saw you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft way. Italian Elvis fan? Perfect. Absolute perfect. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Mm? Not a good attitude, lady. Oh, it's you, Bowsy. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. That's a little sus. Alright. How long has she been standing out there just waiting? That, that's that's kind of <laughs> whack. Um, clearly I don't go around this way, so I gotta go around this way instead. Excuse me. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, Unbi, I love you. It has been eight months. Like, what in the heck? She's looking kind of sus. Yeah, she is. Like, what was that all about? Uh, nice flowers. No bug catching that, so I can't catch that. 
Can we buy stuff in town already? This guy about to teach me how to roll? Hold up, Bowser. Hey, hey, Bowser. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll to the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're in front of the tree, bam. Do a roll right into it. So come on, please. I don't... Oh, while dashing... Pre oh, that's simple, actually. So I fuck it up immediately. All right. Well, hold on. Hold on now. Wait, no, I'm silly. All right. Wrong button. Oh, my God. There we go. Jeez. Terrible. Well, you did it. A Sky Stag Beetle. Wait up. Thank you so much for the sub. I love you. Thank you for the support. You got a heart. This item's life-giving energy restores one heart of life. Very excellent. Very gooch. That's locked, right? Basically what that translates to. Can I open this door from over here? Or is this guy like trying to fix the fence? Nah, he's trying to fix it. Okay, so I can't go in buildings yet. That's fine. We don't need that yet. That's actually... At first I was like, how the fuck do, but honestly, that's not that bad for rolling. It's not bad at all. Such a beautiful day, but we're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my lug nut of a son is good for is getting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. It never ends. I hear you, and I'm terrible at washing clothes. I wish I could get someone to do it for me. Okay, that's a interesting way to have the roadblock, but that's fine. Um, I think we're supposed to go around this way. Whoa, I can go in this place. What's in here? Hmm, how are you doing tonight anyhow? Pardon me, Bowsy. You haven't seen Kukiel, have you? She's always running off without a word to anyone. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I guess she'll never learn unless she runs into trouble one day. Okay, fair enough. Well, I, I, I guess that was worth coming in for. I don't know. All right. <laughs> we'll just continue. Hi. Hi, you, Bowser. Nice breeze today, huh? Perfect for the ceremony. So who do you think will win today? I guess Groose is a strong contender, but... The winner will get blessed by a village girl chosen to represent the goddess. How romantic! I don't, I don't see why that would invalidate Groose, actually. Um... I thought I just jumped to my death for a second. I went in a circle. Okay, good. Good. Not like I was trying to get anywhere significant. Let's go down here this time. Yeah, I'll dash here. I'm not I'm not scared. We're good. Okay, how do I get up here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Hip hop. Scoop scloop. Scoop scoop. There we go. No props. What the fuck is this thing? Missing an eye? Yes, it is. All right. I guess we gotta find that later or something. Oh, I'm doing it again. Okay. Um. Well, that's a problem. Waterfall cave. But where are blood sucking monsters? No kids allowed. Okay. So I don't go this way yet. There's some oddly straight trees next to this. Um, okay, where the fuck do I go? Let's see. Ominous foreshadowing, Groose and romance are incompatible. Are you kidding me? I love Groose. Bada bing, romance done. Uh, this kid needs to learn how to say, I'm going outside to play, I'll be in front of the house. <laughs> That's true. Uh, how do I do this again? No, nope. I'm trying to... Is it because I'm... I, wait, I can't throw the pumpkin, can I? 
Oh, I can roll it though. That made sense. Can I smash it by rolling it into something? Okay. Well, that's fine. No problem. Why can't I roll it now? All right. Whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let's go. <laughs> if I get a sword, I don't need to roll it anyway. I can just, you know, slay shit. Uh, shit. Excuse me. I made mistakes. That that was a, that was a mistake. Wait, there's no stamina bar for swimming. That's good. All right. Can I, how do I? I gotta climb out on this side. Okay. Cool. Good. I'm glad that I I'm glad that I did this. This was not a mistake at all. This was planned. How do I get out? Press L toward the water's edge to climb out of water. You can't reach too high up. Oh. Okay. That's a little bit different. Uh, stuff that I can apparently dig up later. Hold on. This does not help me. This. That. Nope. Um. All right. Now I'm concerned. Okay. Oh, there's the fucking way out. Jeez, Louise. Sure, wish there was a way to at least swim a little bit faster or something. That'd be great. I already hate swimming areas to begin with. Yeah? That served me no benefit whatsoever, did it? Like, I, now I'm just right back where I was. No, I'm on the other side. Okay, good. All right. Where the hell am I trying to get to? Up there? No. That's the academy. Wait. Yes! That is where I need to go. Alright, I know what we're doing now. Don't those cats turn evil at some point or something weird like that? Or am I just thinking I'm Super Mario Brothers? Nope, hey. There we go. One arm style does not work well. Generally, no. Okay, climb on up. We still can't pass through there because that guy still fits in that gate. That's all right. I know where we got to go now. Now I remember. Uh, I think they're aggressive at night. I think so. Something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was remember correctly. Cool. My memory isn't completely hot garbage. Uh, go back up here. Sleep. Woo! Bada bing, bada boom. All right, back up here. Oh my God! What? Why am I so fast? Apparently, cool. Watch your step there. You can't always depend on knights like me to swoop in and save you. Thank, thank you. Well, at least it doesn't take a heart when that happens. Would, I mean, it would be kind of weird if it did, all things considered, but... Okay. Let's scooch on down here. Uh, is there a way to just drop? Yeah. Let go. Looks scoochy over here. Is this the way? Woo! That's not a pit. I thought that was a pit. All right. Uh, I suddenly don't think this is the way. You got a red ruby. Okay, cool. At least we're making money. I mean, that's that's good. That I that I do like. That's the cave that's locked up. Hold on. There's something down there. Now I think that's where I'm trying to get to, if I remember correctly. It's been a long ass time, like a really long time. But there's something else over there. That might be where I need to get to. See that tunic? He's the real hero. Yeah, well, you know. We're gonna do what we can to try to like at least match up a little bit. Climb me up here. Go and leap on up. Let's breath the wild this. There we go. Where we try to like rush everything stupidly and then fall. Okay. Uh, wait, hold up. 
I'm looking. I'm gonna figure this shit out, alright? I don't remember where the fuck I gotta get a swood at at first. I know you gotta get one. I just don't remember where the hell it is. Back here, maybe? No, that's where they are. Let's not get too close. I don't want them to yell at me. I'm very insecure. Um, okay. There's something down there. How the fuck do I get to that? Maybe behind the statue? Aha! Uh -huh. There is some stuff down here. It looks like it's a one-way trip. Fuck it. Okay. What is this? Drop down. Leap. Okay. Cool. No problem. I didn't tense up entirely during that. Okay, you run faster if you're running down a hill. Duly noted. Running uphill actually drains the shit. God damn it! Okay. Well, that... That accomplished nothing. I thought I found something, but no, I did not. Let me double check. I like that. I like that hills count. I totally forgot about that. All right, nothing here. So then walk up hills, because otherwise, why waste your stamina like that? I don't understand why this ledge is here. That. Okay, that's fine. Here, just... Okay, never mind. It's not on this island. Okay, I thought it was... Okay, I was wrong. Okay. Wow, <sighs> shit. <laughs> okay. I can swear there was something important on this island, though. Like, this particular part of the island. Uh... Okay, let's let's come down here. Yeah, there's nothing else over there. I don't think it's in this little house. We did see that there was something under on this side. No, I think I was just seeing that little island way off in the distance and it looked like it was connected. What the fuck's that? Hold on. Is this it? No, but get a look around. That's not ominous at all. Uh, Cloud's not supposed to do that. What? What is the point of being down here? Excuse okay. All right. That's fine. We'll figure this out. Um, maybe I buy my first sword? I don't know. Yeah? That's not a shop. <laughs> I think the shops are in the middle. Let's head back to the middle. Uh, hold on. Hold on, is this... Yeah? You know, Groose, that sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and pecking. Of <laughs> course it was. You thought a big crimson lock wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> Shit! Whoa, Bowsy, so, uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please! You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda upon a statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh? Say, come to think of it, 
How come I don't see your bird? Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. You think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Uh, you know what? Nice hair. I, I do like your hair. You lay off my dude right now, or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal! Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Did you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, uh, Zelda, hey! Nah, it's, uh... Oh. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Bowsy again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose... Mm -hmm. You suppose? Suppose what? <laughs> I suppose you... Uh... Uh, forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Bowsy. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to set out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood. So find that bird. Found. Find that bird and get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. I'm surprised we went this long in the stream before I started fucking up English. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Bowsy, those guys aren't going to help us find your birds, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Almost redeemed Ooh for that scene. <laughs> to give Gris the Ooh voice instead? That would have been interesting. Just to clarify, the ooh voice is really just my feminine, my like extra feminine voice. That's it. <laughs> so, you know, but I would have done it. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Ara ara. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna climb the statue re re here real quick, cause I'm I'm literally right here, and there's a ladder like inviting me to go up there. Hippity hop, hip hop, blip blop, scoop 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 blop. Okay, what is this for? Why is this inviting me to take a dive? Cause it wants to kill me. That's why. Um, I see stuff down there. I see graphs. Okay, where could this stuff be at? Like, there's gotta be a place to get a swood. We were trying to check the shops. Can I? No, you can't hop off and, oh, you gotta be dashing or do that. Yeah, I, I did the, the dumb run. Okay, that's fine. You've got something important to say, apparently. What's up, Bowsy? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson lopwing? Have I seen him? I'm sorry I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Statue of the goddess has a huge statue in the north of Skyloft. You've been here, right? Head toward the place with the X mark. Can't miss it. Okay. I was just trying to rush things. I was trying to find a sword. I'm supposed to do other things before I can get the sword. Alright. If you're ever lost, you can press dash to see a map of wherever you are. So hope is always just a press of dash away. Okay, cool. I like that. I had no idea about that, actually. Let's go. These controls are definitely a little bit different, but they are not unmanageable. 
Which, I mean, to be fair, the Wii's controls really weren't unmanageable either. Actually kind of fun. I like swinging around like the Wiimote, the, you know, sword fight and shit like that. Hey, hey Bowsy! Over here! I don't remember what voice I did for him. Oh, wait. I have some information for, about your lock, Wayne. Come over here. We'll just give him that voice. What? Where, where are you yelling from? Huh? What the fuck? Oh. What's up? Hey, Bowsy. I was just looking for you. I heard your lock wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this. When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Bowsy. I really wanted to tell you, but if Gru's found out I told you... It sounds like Gru's forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> just a little while ago, I was just cleaning the diner hall. Gru's and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Bowsy, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never be able to ride a bird again again. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it. Right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Wait a second, that's not where I went to before. Yeah, there was there was a cave down here. Did I not notice that I could literally just jump up or something? Uh, Forgive me, Bowsy, I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Wait, so do I go to the statue first or do I go there first? I guess I go there first. Never mind. Alright. Oh. One more thing, Bowsy. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Oh, okay. Never mind. That makes sense. That explains why I can't buy a sword anywhere else. That's alright. That's cool. Pacing. I got you. My sir, please tell me how to fight. Oh, hey, it's Bowsy. You still want to get us some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. Sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling the sword, go ahead and ask. Boop. Uh, yes please. You got a practice sword. Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. Looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Okay, cool. Thank you for notifying me of that all important like how do I s Wait, hold up. How, how do you swing in this game? What? Can I Big sword used by knights and trainers. The blade still has a sharp edge. Uh-oh, don't tell me they gave me this they, they gave this weird controls. Um Okay, there's my hippity hop side to side. That's very ocarina of time. That's good. How do I just draw the sword? I, You know what? I probably can't until I talk to this guy. Pacing. Again, pacing is a thing in this game. Hi, teach me to draw the sword. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to learn about how to use the sword? Yes, please. Ooh. Okay, so the basics of swordsmanship. It's important to think about the direction you're swinging a sword. Swing it vertically, you'll do a vertical slash. If you swing it sideways, you'll do a side slash. Thrust it forward to do a thrust. Next, there's a more advanced technique, the spin attack. Perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press ZL to target enemy as soon as you see it. Ooh. Try getting in some good practice on these logs. Forget how to swing your sword, you can always check the help with, uh... Directional thingies. Don't ever forget your fundamentals. Once you slice up those logs, I'll set up so you can try out your your big move. Okay. All right. Help. Oh. 
Oh, that's an interesting change. That is... Okay, that's not actually that bad. That seems awkward at first, but... Cool. So... Nope. Alright. We're already fucking up. Here, turn this, please. There we go. Cool. The flick is kind of weird. I like it. Wait, how do I thrust? Hold on. Oh, you just... You, you push it. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that I'm supposed to... What? Not use this! Alright. Why does it keep facing me? What kind of log is this? You're not supposed to hit that. Alright, never mind. There we go. There we go. This one I thrust. Alright. That's right, Bowser. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You made this destructive proud. You ready to try a spin attack? Okay. Do I just rotate it? Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Flick quickly left, right, and left. Uh, ooh. What the fuck? What's the matter, Buzzy? You don't seem your usual self. Stand in the center of a pack of enemies and swing your sword with just the right timing. That's how you do a real spin attack. Um, if if the nor if the normal flick makes me automatically swing my sword, how the fuck? What? Hey. Um. Flick R stick quickly left, right, and left for horizontal spin attack, and up, down, and up for a vertical spin attack. Flick R in the direction you want to swing your sword. Why did he swing? I didn't flick. I didn't even let go of the joystick. Hold on. All right. This is weird. I, mm, I don't. I don't know how I feel about the spin attack in this game. That, that's a problem. Now, okay, you just have to like do it ultra fast. I'm gonna get like blisters trying to do that. That's ridiculous. Good one. That sure looked like it felt good. No. <laughs> so I want to try a fatal blow to close out our session. Sure. All right, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Yeah, to waggle, but it's weird. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finish it off with your technique. Let me try something else instead. Here, do this. Okay. That's really weird. But it's doable. All right, it, 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 it's just weird. I was, I, I was trying to do this joystick too far, basically. Like, I was trying to go all the way instead of, you know, a quickie. All right, we're okay now. What am I supposed to do here again? Whoops, I wish I'd been paying attention. Um, it's supposed to be... That definitely is not it. Just tell me again. What? Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you use your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but most monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. Yeah, good luck with that for me. All right, cool. At least that's not that hard. That's actually easier than the spin attack. Okay. Oh yeah, you wanna learn about how to use a sword? No thanks, we just did that. That's right, you're good with the sword. Practice is everything. You don't become a sword master sitting on your rear end. You gotta practice those fundamentals like using ZL to target enemies. Not glamorous, but it's swordsman's bread and butter. Ooh. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. I Like I said, I don't need to, and then he starts telling me how to practice again. What? I just said no. I'm good. Hey. 
Hey, Bowsy. You can't take swords outside of Sparno. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loft wing's missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you go outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Okay? Got it! I already did the logs. We're good. Thank you. Did the logs pause? Uh, sort of? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about the waggle to spin strike. There's that old game where sword practice uses real enemies that don't attack. Um, probably a couple, honestly, but if so, I don't remember. Gotta remember that there's treasure over there. Alright, finally, we can do some stuff. Oh, I'm still, still fucking it up. Alright. Okay. I kind of like the being able to flick the joystick to attack in any direction like that. That's cool. I dig that. That's a good replacement. Obviously, it's not quite as efficient as the motion control because it's motion control. Obviously, the sword goes in whatever direction you, you swing in, but um, using a controller to do instead, not that bad, actually. Hippity hop. Leap up. Leap. Scloop. Sleep. All right. Okay, cool. Guess that's all I can do? That's fine. <laughs> ah. My boy! Hmm. Why would I put it away? I have it. I'm happy. This is what I've lived for. This is why we're here. To get swoop slashes in. Yeah, that's right. Take that. MF and sign. For no particular reason. Alright. I'm feeling very violent. This is what we've been overdue for for like an hour. Let's go. Nope. Nope, believe me, I can swing like a maniac. We're good. <laughs> uh, view change though? Wait, I gotta rotate it like this. Gotcha. Okay. Gotta get used to that. Nope. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Alright. Next. Whoa, hey! Get the hell off me. Alright. Phew. What am I looking at? That was weird. Can you not roll? Oh, it's because I'm not dashing. Come on, bats. Come on. Oh, it automatically G targets. Okay, cool. I like that. You got a green rupee? It's worth one rupee, so collect tons of them. Paris. This is like the only... This is like the only 3D Legend of Zelda where I don't hate bats. Because you can literally just, you know, aim. If you're swoot, I mean, and take him out. Um, no. Zoop around. I'm hearing more bats. Hi, almost nab nub. Is it just me or does this look exactly like it does on the Wii? No, it looks a little bit sharper. Kind of wish you were doing motion controls with the hand tracker on. Yeah, that would probably look absolutely ridiculous, but the hand tracker, unfortunately, takes way too many resources. I only want to use that when, like, I'm doing something real simple. Or, like, if we ever... Hey, get the fuck off if we ever set up just chatting or anything like that, I'll probably use it then. But otherwise, that's that's probably, unfortunately, a uh, not not wise decision of mine to have bought that hand tracker. It's not the worst, but it's 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 it's, it's a little pricey on resources. A little pricey in general too. Um, there we go. Come on, Batsus. 
Nope, there. Whoa! Okay, alright, that works. I don't know how I sort of hit him, but didn't. <laughs> Ooh, a mantis. I kind of want that. Can I has? Get off me. Thank you. Can I has? I like praying mantids. No. Come here! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Perish? Get the hell out of here with that shit. Two for one special? I'll take that. Yeah, but probably should only vertical slash those. Get, get, what the fuck? How did I get this guy off me? Fuck off me, a-hole. Jeez, all right. <laughs> well, this is going to be a good game. I, you know, I just noticed they start you with six hearts. Which is extra, extra abnormal for a Zelda game. But then again, I guess the enemies right off the bat hit for a heart. So, what would that translate to? More like, normally you start the game out, you have three hearts. But the enemies you fight only do a quarter of a heart of damage. So, you kind of have like 12 hits. And this you have six hits. So, it's kind of worse, but it looks better in terms of health. That's deceptive. That's all right, though. I mean, it's not like the enemies are hard. Where's that rupee? Thank you. Get the fuck... Get... Bitch, fuck you. Jeez. I hate these slimes. You coming down here, or do I got a, a hippity hop on up here? Yeah. Let's go. Perish. Get that upper... How are you still alive? What the fuck? These enemies seem to have some really random health. Like, I've hit them like four times and they're still alive. Eggman! How are you today? Really want to get this game, but I told myself I have to finish Hyrule Warriors first. That's fair. I respect that. Rookies, please. Mm. I assume you already beat um, Breath of the Wild. I could go outside there. But we need to crawl through this dang hole real quick. Give him the cross slash. I like that. All right. Oh, you automatically crawl when you walk up. Oh, cool. All right. We getting paid. This game makes me feel so dumb as a kid. <laughs> I don't know why. I think the thing that stood out the most about this game that was weird um, when it came out was that... Um, all of a sudden, Link has a stamina meter. You know? Uh, good luck 100%ing Breath of the Wild. Yeah, we streamed that. There's too much shit in that game to 100%. I mean, it's possible, but it would take like a billion years. 11 billion. Hey. Bowsy! Feels weird saying my name most of the time in these games now I think about. It. Maybe I should come up with a different name to start using. Like Queenie or something. I don't know. Hey, Bowsy. I was looking. Oh, looking. I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you've gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Hmm. Oh, no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe you'll find something there. Huh? Yeah, I love the Zelda in this game, especially. You can always use Bell too. That works too. Still it feels weird saying my name. Bell's a little bit too close. Like, Bowsy, Bell, sounds like I'm talking to myself, which I guess I sorta am because I'm doing the voices for the characters that are talking at me. But Queenie is different enough that it's still me, but, you know, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, this voice acting, I'll get used to it. Who, who's that? You'd think after eight months I'd be used to it. Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Bowsy. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. All right, we got voices in the head. That's good. First push me off the ledge, then start talking to yourself. It's all right. That's totally normal behavior. Look, there he is. No doubt about it. That's your lock wing, Bowsy. 
Uh, two things. First, that's the number one. Okay, no treasure. That's fine. Careful not to coot the bird. Uh, excuse me? Oh, gotcha. Do I... What? Let's see. Oh, it's the ropes. Gotcha. All right. No props. There you go. Poor bird, free to bird, Bowsy. Yeah, I like this boy. What's up, baby boy? That's my goonie. This boy can stay. Yeah, most boys would chase off immediately on sight in games, but this boy, this is a good boy. We like this boy. We should hurry, Bowsy. Now that your lock wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. You okay? Before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Nah, it's dangerous. I'm not interested now. I almost fell there and found out earlier. Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of my father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far from, far more vast than Skyloft. Impossible. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Bazzi. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just sleep off the ledge and press down. Uh-oh, I'm going to forget that a billion times. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. <laughs> no problem. Or we could just go see the surface world. Nah, let's go. We will do story. Otherwise, the night will grab us. The fact that you start this game out flying makes me happy as shit, to be honest. Bowsy, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude, then drop into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird up to top speed. So how is he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? Fuck yeah. Star Fox meets fucking Legend of Zelda. You kidding me? Just give me barrel rolls and I'd be truly happy. fuck slows down? Why would I do that? While riding your lock wing, you can press right at any time to go over the basic controls again. You can also charge, which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed as well as slow down when you need to. Try all these moves and see how they feel. Okay. Let's go Zelda game. Hell yeah. How you doing today, Hillian Undead? Actually, one of the first games that we um, we streamed was uh, Breath of the Wild. I could slow down, but why would I want to do that? All right, hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! All right, we're Gucci. We're good. I like this. This makes me happy. Ah. 
They have good pumpkin scoop. I believe that. I don't know why I said that all weird. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Bowsy, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. Fuck yeah. My father and others are probably worried about your birth, so let's go give them the good news. My dad still has some taste, so... Do they really? Because I would, I would think when your taste buds die, you, you kind of... You kind of lose your sense of taste. Hence why things like raw brains and stuff start tasting okay. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. Your loft wing really is amazing. Especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I, you know what? Um, dry bones, any dry bones out there, don't hold that against me. I, I, that was probably insensitive. I don't remember my time being dry bowsy too much. Sorry. That zombie's different types of undead. That's true too. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that like immediately after I said it. I was like, wait a second. What about like skelly bones and such? Who don't have taste buds, actually. And also, you know. Leiches. But those are like advanced skelly bones. Or, you know, like vampires, vampiros. But those are kind of like... No, I can't really call them blood zombies. That doesn't really make sense. Because they got way more intelligence than that, generally speaking. You know, bones are famously covered in taste receptors. That's true. There you go, bear. That's, yeah, that's our logic. That, that, that explains why skeletons are always trying to give people the bone. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. No. Well, 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 if it isn't Bowsy. What around the plazas you found that dumb boy to yours? Well, that's just great. Cause you and that dumb boy can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. Pause. Super pause, Bruce. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it! The Big Flake gets special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? Don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh! You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? <laughs> Bruce has been going on forever, but he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pumper doing a ruffle about it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that cell cloth. When I heard she made her herself, man, no way was I gonna let that scrawny clown snatch that prize away from me. Let that, let some, yeah, English, you know. Uh, I'm basically human with unrestricted strength and magic and I can't age with dry. Okay, some people just call that immortal, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> I got you. Oh yeah, that silk cloth, Zelda silk cloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yeah, I can see it now. First I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Ooh woo. Oh, it's so real I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. Bruce, please, Bruce, behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of. <laughs> Care to explain just what you mean by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh. Nothing big, really, just. Just. You know, if they ever give Donkey Kong, like, text and speech and stuff like that. Make him sound like Groose for like no particular reason. That'd be great to me. I would love that. I'm pretending the Donkey Kong show was not a thing, by the way, when I say that. Because I know he had his own voice in that. I don't remember what that voice was. That that's that part's blotted out of my memory. Just give him a Groose voice. Some kind of Groose voice. 
Uh, Bowser, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> Deleted from memory problems for good reason. Possibly. Someone who lived in Skyloft, Bruce is certainly character. Yes, he has a lot of character. I, 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 I really like Bruce. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Bowsy. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Us alone? I don't know. Why would I be super self-doubtful? That's that's not me. Uh, it's gonna be the... Yeah. Us alone? Yeah. Us alone? Yeah. <laughs> that's the spirit, Bowsy. Trust me, you can win this. I think if you say us alone, she's like... Don't start acting like that bonehead or something like that. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble! Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Bowsy. News team, assemble! I need to watch Anchorman again. I really like that movie. Zelda's kid in this game, so can't blame Bruce. Yes, she is. She took a little bit to grow on me on the Wii version. But, like... I really like her character and, like... How she looks in this one, actually. It, at first, I was like, that's a different design. And then, like, I was like, you know, they really work this. She's adorable. She's fucking gorgeous, actually. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Bowsy, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the ledge. Edge, bleh, not ledge, edge. Is it just me, or is the yellow bird actually kind of like the coolest, swankiest looking color of bird we've seen so far? I don't usually go for yellow that much. Maybe it's just me. Whoever catches the bird and claims that you will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Nope. But I have to tell you something. Go ahead. I'm not going to select anything until you say what you got to say. That way, uh, I don't have to, like, read. You're... Aw, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Back at you, though. You're a sweetheart. I appreciate you. Hmm. Also, just really happy to see you here. I know this is like a super early hour for you, so um, I appreciate the support. Thank you for being here today. Nope, don't need to hear again. We're good. Let's go. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. Mwah. We'll go ahead and do that too. Just cuz. There you go. <laughs> I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted a gift herself. As you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by. <laughs> da -na -na -na, the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught in fearing with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Oh, wait, that's the other guy. That goes double for you, Groose. <laughs> hey. All right, gentlemen, line up. 
At my command, the competition will begin. Go! Okay, let's scooch up first. I don't know how they got ahead of me so fast, but that's fine. Yellow Boyd, right? Flappy Wings. That way we don't lose that much altitude. Uh oh. Maybe we're a little bit too fast. Teensy bit too fast. Alright. I gotta play Star Fox. Dive a little. Whoa! <laughs> That was almost bad. Am I supposed to charge him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I just pressed A. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you, yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly a bag on your face. Whoa, all right. All right, that's fine. That's not gonna hit me. Not a chance in hell that would hit me. Okay. Come here, boy. Gotcha. Bill Groose did something. You got the burst statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Bada bing, bada boom. Please. <laughs> Bowsy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Bowsy. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. I actually feel like I did accomplish something there. That was actually some smooth flying, I think. Now you'd better get on with the ceremony. Zelda Cray Cray, but I like her. I mean, Cray Cray ain't always bad. Some Cray Cray's bad. That Cray Cray's not that bad. <laughs> Other than pushing me off the ledge part and almost sending me to my death. That part, maybe that part wasn't okay. But but the rest of the Cray Cray's all right. Bazzi, hand me that bird statue that you gra grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Egg on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. Please don't DMCA me. -E. Me. -E. Small Cray is okay. <laughs> Agreed. I think this is supposed to be the default ship, actually. <laughs> Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the cloth. You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. Hmm. It smells nice too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bazzi, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the cell cloth to her chosen hero long ago. You know what it is? It's First of all, it's the girl next door look. And it's also just like the expressiveness. I feel like in other games, she has been expressive in other games. But... I don't know. Like, her expressions just feel more like defined in this game to me. 
Um, yeah, Link and her like each other. 100%. Definitely. Weird touch game. I mean... Look, Bear. If I snuggle up with you, and you smell really good, there's a high chance of me being like, Wow, you smell good right now. You know? That's like a snuggle thing. That's, that's a lovey-dovey thing. That's okay. It'd be different if, like, it was... Never mind, I'm not going any further with that. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this cell cloth in time to give it to today's champion. <laughs> I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Bowsy. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Pause! <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Bowsy. Hmm. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh, ada ada, surely. Sort of, uh oh. Nope. <laughs> My heart there is so cute. I'm, I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna say no. We're gonna be honest, I don't remember. Really? Huh. I thought you would have figured it out by now. Ooh, ooh, we kind of blushed it a little bit. All right. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. Okay, well, that's not very romantic. Look down. See that big round design in the courtyard below? <laughs> dumb. <laughs> to finish the ceremony. <laughs> Sorry, I got... <laughs> Hold on, I guess I'm laughing. <laughs> to finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. <laughs> Leap off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open up your cell cloth. Just how brave are you? If you're really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your cell cloth. So, ready to jump? Take the plunge, you woo. Ah! Again! It's Mighty Morphin Perishing Time. No worries. ZR, right? They did say ZR? Bada bing. We played Breath of the Wild. We're good. No problems. <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, Bowsy. I do what I can. Link smiles in this, too. You know, Bowsy, sing us how you won today. And with the weather being so nice... Yeah? You think maybe you'd like to... You know... Go fly around the clouds together? Hell yes! You don't gotta ask me twice! Bowsy? Hey, Bowsy! <laughs> Date accepted! <laughs> Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> hmm. Like I said, the expressions in this game made me really happy. You know, Bowsy. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Why do, why do, why do critical story moments always gotta happen right in the middle of the romantic touches? Every time. Never fails. What is that? Ay, ay, ay! What's going on? <laughs> ah, Bowsy! <laughs> Whelpers.
Bowsette? Oh, Bowsette. Birds are actually pretty good about telling weather patterns early. I mean, they kind of have to be, right? <laughs> that son of Lop Wings. I'm pretty sure that was magically inspired. I don't think you can blame the Lop Wings too much for that one. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Bowsette. Excuse me, princess. I was just trying to dream over here. Oh, well, all right. We're awake. <laughs> Not exactly a great way to end the date. Generally, no. Nope. Uh, so you're awake. Oh. When your loved one carried you back, you were limping unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> Get poor a godfather? I don't know. <laughs> but Belzette, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? Uh, what's happened to my daughter? Oh, I'm about to get put on ice. I don't know why I really enjoy that voice, actually. I should do that voice more often. A black tornado, you say? Mm. That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> I gotta get back out there. We gotta go save. You must not push yourself. Hey, you're still recovering. Tell me. When you saw Zelda today, anything about her seem off? I see, she was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her left wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and a bird in the dark at night. Would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Bowsy. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. How the hell am I supposed to sleep like that? Yeah, we gotta go. Alien ghost language. No worries, I'm coming. I got you. I feel you. I get it. I know what you mean. Get over here, or something equivalent to that. Or just Link. <laughs> Any incarnation of Link is a force to be reckoned with in combat. Just give a sword and shield. Well, yeah, we'd be in trouble if that wasn't true. Speaking of which, I can't swing my sword right now. Just focus on the camera, I guess. Lead the way, lady. Uh, let me get this real quick. Let me not dash my way up there this time. Oh, there's a jump slash. All right, cool. That's not exactly easy to do, but I like that it exists. Hello, cat. How are you? Okay, well, that's no good. We don't like that. No, no, leave me be. Thank you. As you were doing. 
Oh, this is that one area of the island we were on earlier. Um, I don't have that much stamina right now. Oh, we'll be all right. We can make it. We're all right. We're okay. There we go. All right. Just testing if I can, like, easily do that without fucking up. No, up, oh, wrong thing. There we go. Nope, why are you not dead? What kind of bat takes two hits in these games? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, no, that's not what's supposed to happen to you. Alright. Uh, go. Okay, there we go. Get, what the fuck is that? That's that bullshit. Fuck you. Hate those damn slimes. All right. I really, really hate those. Like, <laughs> fucking obnoxious. Giant keys tend to take more swings. Nah, no, there's no way. Giant keys should take the same amount of swings as every other keys. One. Perish instantly. You're right. I understand. <laughs> it's such a weird name for Nimbagon gone with. Keys instead of just, you know, bats. Because they all look like bats. I, well, I guess except the ones that only have one eye. Those, I guess, technically don't really look like bats that much. Other than the wings. But, you know, they could have gone real lazy with the name. And instead they went... Real crazy with the name. Like if you're talking to someone, you're like, yeah, you gotta watch out for the keys or else they'll kill you. And they're like, no, you use keys to open doors? And you're like, no, that's keys, uh, not keys, keys. A lot of those monsters actually don't mind my presence, don't attack me on sight. Yeah, well, that's fair. Okay. That's what we're looking for. That's what we were hoping for earlier. Maybe my subconscious memory was remembering this. That's that's why I was like trying to find this place over here. Yeah, that's what it was. The one chosen to be my creator. I have been creator. Huh? I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. I mean, like, what, you give your partner? No, no, the bat, exactly. <laughs> According to your social customs, I shall provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Is it Fee or Fi? I don't really know. I guess probably Fi, but I'm going to say Fee. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Bowsy, you must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, Uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Uh huh. Over acceptable people tend to call her Phi instead of like Fi. So we definitely call her Fi now just because it's out of norm. Alright. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. You know, we're gonna go slightly more robotic. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. That was slightly less robotic, actually. That didn't. That that that, that was my best. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. 
Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Pause. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. You didn't really have to do any. As soon as I saw it was like the baby master sword, I was already in. Like, I'm, that's what we're here for. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. T.Y. Bada bing. Bada bing. A bada boom. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Sword of goddess, another sword I can't wield. Well, yeah, that's only supposed to go to the hero. The hero, you know, the named one, the linky one. Recognition complete, master. Bowsette, my master. Uh, mm, okay. Bowsette. Ooh. Uh, I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword. The very place where it was foretold to you for legend will one day appear. Is it odd that doing like the like the like space dad godfather voice is less stressful on my throat than doing the like machine fight fee voice? I almost said fight. Maybe can chant a similar look at Sword of Magic. I don't know. I couldn't for the life of me imagine figure out which part of her was the blade and what was the handle. Pause. Pause. It is said that this dead place was left to your... <laughs> Fuck. It was said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a say like few each generation, along with a handful of words. The handle is in the eye of the beholder. Ooh. Hara, hara. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OGB asking the really important questions here. <laughs> when the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand. Hold on, let me do that again. For it is then that a youth, a youth, it is then that a youth guided by my hand. <laughs> Ice me ski, I enjoy that day. <laughs> Do not fear, what is then that a youth <laughs> guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. <laughs> Sorry, I was just having fun with that. <laughs> it started year days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. Space Dad. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of... <laughs> that one wasn't on purpose, but alright. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. I'm always having fun here with you guys. This is this is the most I've actually played games other than MMOs ever since like the DS and Super Nintendo. Like just being real with you guys, like I love the Switch. I love Nintendo. So don't get me wrong when I say that, but I'm very much the well, I've got to work. I don't have the energy or the time to like set aside and seriously play games unless I'm going hard on like a specific title that I'm like, I have to have this game and have to play it 
regardless of complete lack of sleep and deterioration of my health, you know. Um, so for a lot of times, like, I didn't really make as much time for playing games as I really wanted to. I still have put, like, a lot of titles, you know, behind me, so to speak, but not nearly as much as I wanted to play. But honestly, not only that, like, I like streaming for you guys, but on top of that, I really like, like, even though I'm not good at it, I really like, like, the voice acting and, like, playing around and joking and stuff while we play these games. It feels, it feels like you guys are my fam. You guys are my Koopalings, you know? I love you guys. And that really gives me incentive to, like, do this. Like, even when I feel like, I'll be honest, guys, even when I wake up and I'm like, I don't feel my best, I'm still, like, Especially if it's a stream day. If it's a stream day, I'm like, I'm still going to try. Like, the very least, I'm going to do, like, two, three hours. And then I'll call it if I'm really feeling that bad. You know, but even if it's not a stream day, if I'm, like, if I don't feel like complete hot garbage, I'm waking up and I'm thinking about streaming. The only exception is when I wake up, like, four or five hours later, Norman. Technically, I can actually stream those days, too. So I probably will start just doing that unless it's a work day. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this this is like the best incentive to play games I've pretty much had my entire life. I like the games. I'm having fun with them. And at the same time, like you guys, at least I get the impression you guys are laughing. You guys are smiling. You're having a good time. You're here. And I'm including this to you guys watching the videos too. Because I know quite a few of you guys prefer to watch the videos after the fact. Probably because of the hours that I stream at, to be fair. So that's fair. You know, but... That means the world to me. If even, like... If if I only had... Honestly, if I only had one average viewer... Like, including the videos... But... You... Were laughing, smiling, and having a great time the whole fucking time... I would still stream. Like, I would still do this. Would I expect to get very far with it in the long run? No, but guess what? I made a lot of choices in my life that it probably fucked me over when it comes to trying to, like, get ahead or any shit like that. Fuck it. Just do what makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? And that does make me happy. Making you guys smile, making you guys laugh, giving you guys a moment of respite from all the boo boo that the world already has to throw at us. That does it for me. That makes me feel rich. That makes sense. That makes me feel like if, I don't know, if, if something terrible, not to say that this will happen, of course, but if something terrible happened tomorrow, I would be like, that's all right. I did some things that made people happy. At the end of the day, I wasn't a complete douchebag until the end of my days. Okay, I'll take that. I'll, I'll cash out on that one. You know, so I don't know, but that's that's just me. I love you guys. Uh, before we spend too much time debating Fee's, Fee's handle, Fee Fi, maybe I'll just call her both. I don't care. According to Hyrule Astoria, Fee's meant to appear between 13 and 14 years old. All right, well, we don't want to talk about that anymore. Um, I'm glad that we moved on from that pretty quickly earlier. Oh, wait, no, no, we didn't. Okay, I think I like to defeat is the blade or neck to handle. That's my theory. Fair, okay. Um, faux fum. Your mind went somewhere else, but good to know. I don't. This is Twitch. <laughs> uh, the words that I've kept sworn. Damn it. The words that I've sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. When it was also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. I'm guessing Link would also be like 13 or 14 in this too. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. The oral tradition. One of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. I did not sign up for this stream to be this wholesome, but I enjoy it so much. Look, you can be a DJ and also be wholesome. Surprise, that is a thing. <laughs> it appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Ooh.
the youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. <laughs> Oral tradition? Hmm. Da -da -da. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that from now on for her. <laughs> Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. Don't tell describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. For some reason that makes me run out of breath really fast though. <laughs> it is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. <laughs> this is no easy task, Bowsy. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Nani, you just you just bring that car out of nowhere. We're okay. We're all right. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the Emerald Tablet! The weather surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old! Why didn't she just put it there herself? Like, why I gotta do that? Why you gotta make me work? I'm feeling pretty lazy after all this. Master! The first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. Fair enough, Hillian. Hey, I appreciate the support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the alert. Mwah. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, Face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. That I remember. Ah. Just in our chair a little bit. Drink a little bit of tea. Delicious. And then. Give it the crest. Uh, she wants to make you hold a heavy rock and do lots of manual labor. Otherwise, she just do everything herself. I mean, that's fair. Imagine waiting countless untold years to tell someone to put that rock in place. I know it's more than that, but I'm just, I'm just being ridiculous. Master Bowsette, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I mean, she never takes her arms out of her cloak, like, ever. You know what? That's fair, too. She might not even have hands, for all that we know. That's fair. Good point, Kranaya. I have recognized you as my master, so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. 
I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. I'm sure you'll have plenty to say whether I press that or not, Feet. Thank you. She stopped time when she speaks? Absolutely. <laughs> Bowsy, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. I should give you the tablet with no hands. She summoned it. I mean, you saw it. It just came out of nowhere. It came from Hammer Space. Just think, if what this feast says is true, Zelda's alive. Alive and no doubt coming to toys with whatever it is that the goddess has in store for. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Bowsy. Especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. Okay, no way. Okay, no way. Okay. <laughs> This is a request you cannot refuse. <laughs> you do your people proud, Bowsy. You know what? I might add that as a voice redeem. I might maybe make it a cheap one, to be honest. Like, I know that most of them are 5k. I might do the God, the Godfather Space Dad voice for like, maybe like 3k. So it's not easy to spam per se, but like, it's, it's it doesn't take too long to get to. Um... Because I really like that one, actually. It's really easy to do for some reason. Zelda's always alive even when Link takes a long nap. Yeah, even... I mean, Link could sleep for, like, probably, like, you know, a good, like, century, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or so, and she'd still be alright. You do your people proud, Bowsy. The family's real proud of you right now. A dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you. Bowsy and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. I know I said that wrong. That's a, that's a comma, not a period. It is what it is. The uniform you would have received for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. This is a request you cannot refuse. Literally, because it's part of the story. Oh, yeah, we looking swanky now. This man just watched me like undress and dress again or something? Whatever. Mm. Are there more rock tablets? Of course there's more rock tablets. You kidding me? We carry rocks all day. That's, that's Legend of Zelda for you. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. And so you were born to wear it. Very nice. You're looking kind of cool. Take care on your journey. Be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Both. <laughs> Appreciate you. You know what? Hey, you got anything else to say? I hear your sparring instructor. The Knight Commander also knows that you were set out from Skylife. He's concerned for you. Why don't you consider stopping by the sparring hall and speaking with him before you go? Bowsy, be safe out there. I'm counting on you to find Zelda. Find my daughter. Bring her back to me. Well, we gotta give a sword back anyway, so... 
Cause yeah, we didn't we we didn't exactly take back the practice sword. That was it. This old man stand over you with a blank, unmoving, unblinking expression while you change clothes. Yeah, really, really comfy. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Da 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 da. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Uh, yeah, sure, cool, good. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need in your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you put in this pouch. You should go look. <laughs> you can buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch. A shield? Really? You sure? That sounds like that would have to be like a gigantic ass backpack to fit a shield in it. That don't make sense. And they might come in handy on an adventure. Bowsy, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. A shield? Really? I'm actually upset by that. That don't make sense. <laughs> What's up, a-hole? Hey. hey, I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Groose won't come out of his room and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Yeah, that's my fault. Which room says anyway? Calling and stretch? No, I don't care about that. Where's the Groose live at? Here? Fledge? No. That's someone else. Me? No. There he is. Oh, I can just walk straight in there. Pretty cool. <laughs> Poor Zelda. You, this is your fault, you know. You can barely fly straight, yet somehow you beat me in a race. <laughs> it should have been me up there with her that day. But I guess now I just have to be the one to save her. Why are you sitting in your room? That don't make no sense. I like that he has weights in his room. Um, let's see. Fledge doesn't like adventuring for babes, I guess. Uh, Fledge related to Z is Fledge related to wizards? I don't know. Maybe if he thinks that a a, a, a four slot pouch, which by the way I'm guessing is the pouch that is currently on my waist, can hold a shield. That is not the exit. That is, well, you know, uh, some of my bad days. I guess that's the exit. Get me the fuck out of here. Right, it's beneath the stairs. I don't know what that. No, no. Why am I suddenly confused about how to get fucked to get out of this place? Is it upstairs? There's one upstairs. Just go upstairs. It's fine. Wait, that is the exit. Okay. No, that's Headmaster Gaipora. Okay. Where the fuck's the exit to this place? Here we go. All right. Thank you. I don't think there was actually an exit downstairs. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It is suddenly hot as fuck in my place. I don't know why. Oh fuck, I hope the AC didn't die. That would be a huge problem. We've been having some problems with that lately. Y'all, this next month's gonna be a rough month. Doctor's bills, fucking trying to get back in the game with work after all this fucking bullshit sickness and shit. The AC deciding it's time to quit. I really hope the maintenance just fucking repairs that and doesn't bullshit me on that, but just ugh. Ugh. <laughs> hey, you want your sword back? Mm. Bowsy, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl, I'm worried about her. Now, I don't know all the details of what's going on here, but that sword you're carrying isn't from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact that can only be carried by the Chosen One. Since you happen to be the one carrying it, I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. I wish there was something else I could do for you, Bowsy. Wait, maybe there is. Yes, get a shield and come back here. Then I'll be able to take you to Secrets of Defense. It's the least I can do for you. You don't want your practice sword back? What did I do with that? Did I just like hurl that from the from the mountain or something? Or mountain? What the fuck am I talking about? From the from the cliff? From the edge? Uh, from the ledge? There we go. That makes more sense. Wish I could put you under my medical insurance because then medical bills would be free. I have insurance, so that's not the issue in and of itself. It's just that 
a lot of stuff that I'm having to get tested for, you know, insurance either doesn't cover until I met my whole deductible, which, of course, like every insurance, is gigantic fucking enormous for some stupid ass reason. Or, um, the fact that I'm just, you know, poor. So, even though insurance reduces the price, it's still too fucking much. So, that's good. A little bit too much information. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created that you cannot possibly miss in the background. It is as bright as possible and looks like a giant fucking laser. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword, don't underestimate me, would result in a decreased probability of survival. I barely use my shield for anything. All right, if you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Thank you. That is literally, obviously, exactly where I am heading. Thank you, Fee. Mega Man, Mega Man! Mega Man, Mega Man! This is the way you need to go to go get items! Ah, my theory is the headmaster took it back for you. That's possible, that makes sense. Um, I think they took it from you when you were unconscious. Also possible, also makes sense. Get a shield, put in, the, put in that tiny pouch of yours. Yeah, I should just big free and pays for everything with no deductible, I'm sure if I could. Oh, you got that, you got that ultra Gucci insurance, I understand. I'm a little envious. What is this? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It'll burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. Could be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? Nah, and I... Uh, <laughs> That's quite all right, friend. I've got a, quite a few other fight out of the stock. So do take your time and look around. I don't remember him giving us that look when, like, you say no. That, <laughs> that threw me for a second. Oh, that's right. You can upgrade your shit in this game, can't you? Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. You can use stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what'll it be? A break here. Hey kid, you don't have anything I can upgrade for you right now. How about you head over to Rupin's shop and buy something? Can I upgrade the wooden shield to make it not suck ass? Is that a thing? Oh, uh, nope, I didn't want to talk to you. Okay. What's this? What is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me. Thank you for putting that ahead of time before I've even talked to you. Just instilling that doubt before I have even asked you about your craft. But my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead of you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Bye. Hey, give me that shield. Uh -huh, that's a wooden shield. You already told me all that. Cool. Thank you. You don't got to tell me all that. Just let me buy it. Thank you. Ba -ba -da -da -da. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn. So be careful how you use it. Thank you, sorry, a loyal and continued practitioner's friend. I've taken the liberty of placing the item in your pouch. That giant fucking shield just went in that tiny little pouch. I mean, to be fair, the Deku nuts are also like the size of my fucking hand. That, I think that's a bomb flower, is literally like the size of Link's head. The arrows are like the size of his arm. So I guess, I guess to be fair, we've always kind of done the hammer space thing. But still, it still bothers the shit out of me. 
Select the item you want to equip and press R. That's all there is to it. For example, to equip an item like a shield, it's as simple as selecting it in your pouch. Sure, no problem. Thank, thank you. Oh, about a bing. What? There we go. Cool. Yeah, I guess we should buy all these things. Give me bombs first. What? Aha! Uh -huh. Very sorry, but I can't sell those unless you have a bomb bag. Again, my apologies. Can I get the nuts at least? Goodness knows I love nuts. Pause. My friend, you don't appear to have a slingshot. I simply couldn't sell you these in good conscience if you did not have a slingshot. Perhaps I can introduce you some of my other wares. Thanks for nothing, my guy. Hey, I like a potion. <laughs> ah, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. His eyes are terrifying. They are pretty piercing, yes. Pure innocent voice that he wants you to stare into the gateways to his soul. Yeah. Questionable. You shoved it in there when you weren't looking. Mm, I googled it and Owlin gives you a free shield. Thank you, OGB. <sighs> That's alright. It's only 50 rupees. We'll get it back. I uh, infused the potions my... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Infused the potions my wife sells me with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really. Just something I like to do. Well, uh, do you have any potions you would like for me to infuse? I don't... No, I don't have any potions. Nah. I see. No bother to me. Hope to see you again someday. Okay, you yeah. sell the potions. Hey, you there. Yes, you. You know what? Hey, you there. Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? A one in training, at least? Mm? <laughs> Let me tell you. One look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron fool. That's fucking rude. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Hmm? Oh dear, I forgot to ask you if you have an empty bottle on you. Are you fucking kidding me? What can I do in this bazaar exactly? Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. Mm. For some reason, I like you though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. <laughs> you won't hear me say this often. But you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Da, ba, da, da, da. You got an empty bottle. You can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your potion. Mm -mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. Mm. The fuck is an item check? So what do you like to buy? This couple reminds me of Betty DeVille and Howard DeVille. It's perfect, right? Mm. Something I can do for you? Uh, uh, I don't want to be taught. I'm just... Uh. No need to be rude. I'm busy too, you know. But you look like such a nice boy, so I'll forgive you. If you want some more potent potions, go and talk to my husband. He can mix up ingredients to infuse and improve the regular potions I sell here. Dr. Girlfriend? What is this? Mmm. That's a guardian potion. This stuff makes you feel invincible. It's a potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit of time. Find yourself facing an opponent who's a little out of your league. This is a potion for you. This kind of potion doesn't come cheap though. It's 200 rupees. How about it? Ah! No thank you. You don't want it, dear? I know some of my potions might taste a bit strange, but there's no denying that they do what's advertised. I'm gonna assume this is the health potion. Just give me this. That's a bad heart potion. Drink this dear and it'll replenish eight hearts. Perfect. Why don't you pick up pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 rupees. How about it? Yes, please. Scoop clap. You got a heart potion. When placed in your pouch, you can use this item to restore eight hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can make something up for you. Uh, no, don't talk to me again, please. You, 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 you spooked me a little bit. Where is? Hey, can you upgrade this shield? Oh yeah. Hey, welcome to Scrap Shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. You already told me this. All right, upgrade gear. 
Upgrade the shield. You got it! These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Yes. Oh. No. Okay. Hold on now, you change your mind? Well, in all the... Eh, it's fine. Come see me whenever you change it back, little buddy. I... Okay. It's, it's okay. It's not like I really want to upgrade anyway. Why are you interrupting me? Master Bowsette, this treasure chest-like object is a relic of ancient times left by the goddess for her chosen hero. Oh, okay, fair enough. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. Why not let me try to open it before you told me that? I mean, thank you for saving me the trouble, but... I don't know, that just bothers me a tiny bit. Let me try anyway. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Alright. Can I lift my sword skyward? I can't swing my sword in here. Never mind. Why, why am I lying back here? That's kind of weird. Okay. I don't think I ever even got that chest open in my original playthrough in, on, on the Wii. I think I completely forgot that it exists, actually. That's a problem. I'm probably going to forget again, then. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> Guys be like, here's a chest just for you that you can't get into? Yeah, tell me about it. That guy is easily my favorite character in this game above Groose. Who, the, the smith? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> right? Okay, that's a little bit better. What the hell was that? Jimmy Cricket. This is gonna be a long game. Alright. Impressive, Bowser. That's a nice. Bowser? What the fuck? I fucked up my own fucking name, jeez. Impressive, Bowser. Uh, I mean, that's probably not the worst thing I fucked up when I'm reading these things out loud at this point. That's a nice shield you have there. Well then, it's time I taught you the art of defense. It's too focused on trying to change the voice. We'll start with basic training. When you're worried about defense, take your shield out. Simple stuff, I know, but you need to review the basics. To lower your shield, swing your sword or press B to put your sword and shield away entirely. Bows it. Fuck. <laughs> Just be careful when trying to attack while on the defensive. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, lowering your guard. Why don't you try that first? Wait, I gotta press that in just to raise the shield? Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm a dummy. Alright. That log is using practice defense. Hit the log with a sword and then execute a shield bash when it swings back at you. <laughs> okay. Wait, how, wait, how to shield bash? I missed that part. No, no. Shield. Okay, that's gonna take getting used to. Alright. Do that. Then give me help on the shield bash. Thank you. Press... Bibbidi bop to bash your shield forward. Time to just right for the full effect. I'm gonna fuck that up so bad every time. Alright. But I can only do it when it's attacking me. Cool. Practice. Ah, fuck. That's bullshit! Okay, that's fair. Okay, maybe maybe that's not that bad. I'm gonna fuck it up a lot, but that's alright. Okay, no problem. Oh, ready to talk more about the secrets of defense? Um, actually, no, I'm good. I see. Well, trying it out for yourself is the best way to learn. Why don't you practice on that defense log? Nope, we're good. It's time to go. I wanna go to that laser. Cousin of Bow Stand? Bow Zit? Bow Stay? Bow Shake? Not the weirdest nickname I've been called, so it, you know what? It's fine. Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. Can I just leave from here? Or do I gotta leave from a specific place? Nope, well. Apparently that guardrail is too much for me. Here, let's save. Before I die horribly. Yes, please. I do like that the shield's design has like a bird foot on it. Bird foot? <laughs> bird claw? <laughs> Woo! Hey, boy! We should probably give the bird a name, to be honest. Yeah, I like flying through rings. That's a Star Fox thing. Swoosh. There's another one over there. Why not? Should probably go visit some of these islands at some point. We'll do that after the dungeon. Ara, ara. Yeah, some of those nicknames. I'm not gonna go into. What the fuck is that out there? Is that another bird? Kinda looks like it. Oh, we might wanna flap. I'm not trying to crash! Well, I'm bad at flying. I'm sorry, bird. Wait, are you saying call the bird out? Okay, cool. Alright. We can kinda fly. Suck at flying through rings and games. Are you fucking serious? As soon as I looked at the chat. What the fuck is that? Rach, I was flying through rings. Where the hell was I? Alright. Alright, there's another bird. He's carrying one single rupee. I, I don't think I'm too worried about that. Oh, look, I got buddies. I got Falcos out here. Uh, what's that? We're gonna pass through that just because it exists. Oh, that's the easy dive, I guess, or just see what's below you so you can hit it properly. Pause. Someone call you mom in chat? I don't think I've seen that before. Um, I've been called mama before. Mommy Bowsy. A few variants of that, actually. Mostly not in here, but it has happened. is nice and peaceful. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this for anything, but it exists, so it'll probably just help you get around the area faster. What the fuck is that? Oh! It's, oh shit, alright! Excuse me! <laughs> just passing through, don't pay me any heat. Maybe I am supposed to be doing this. Now that there's enemies shooting at me, please don't do that. At least I don't got breath of wild aim. <laughs> okay, this one's just a straight flight. That's about as easy as it gets. Flat points. There we go. Alright. I've probably gone through about all of them now. Unless... No, I think some are hidden at cloud. Let's go to green laser. It's green laser time. game about Falco birds makes me happy. There we go. You can stop flipping flap and control a little bit. What the hell was that? Probably marking a drop spot or something. How do I drop? Like, actually, how do I drop? Oh, that's how. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Honestly, you would think more people would be flying around the green light, right? Like, here's their first view of the surface. Like, if they'd never seen it, I don't know. Like, if I was the average villager with a, a, a sweet Falco boy, I'd be like, What the hell is that? What the fuck am I looking at? They give you something if you, I remember correctly, if you skydive? I don't think so. I don't think that ever happened. Master, please make sure to use your cell clock when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. Why are you telling me that? I literally just used that. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, that was you. I wasn't totally holding down ZR right then when you told me to hold down ZR. It's cool. I took the liberty of deploying the cell cloth for you this time. But in the future, you can manually engage it by pressing ZR before landing. Also, how did you do that? <laughs> Master Bowsette, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. I'm not a huge Fee fan. I don't hate Fee, but I'm not a huge Fee fan. I actually like Navi more. But I like Navi, so that says enough in and of itself. <laughs> Please proceed with caution, Master. Kronai, I'm pretty sure I told you that before, actually. Like, way back in the day. Falls from sky, falling to death, but all you get is a little injured because you're the chosen of the goddess. Yeah. I eat the sealed grounds. Oh, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you on that. I agree. Okay. Shield voice, just in case we fuck this up. Uh... Oh, gotcha. Oh, I just gotta cut his jaw. No problem. Cut his tongue. Good. That's not spooky at all. Nope, oh, fuck that. See you. Oh, boy. Uh... Shika. Shika, Shika. I'm pretty sure I've always said that wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? It smells kind of dank up in here. Oh, never mind. That's the emanating ultimate evil of this game. <laughs> Headaches, that's not good. <laughs> Forgot when, but at some point in the story, we, I made two points just to get two different timelines. I didn't really know that was the thing, actually. Demon King farts at you. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, I think I'm supposed to go in the temple first. Or not. Okay. Or I can't do it. Oh, wait. Fee wants to talk to me? No, I'm good on that, actually. You, you've done enough talking. Let's jump all the way to bottom. I was about to say, where the fuck's my cell cloth? Why is my shield already got lum Oh, because it got hit by that, that Deku thing. You can't, like, actually pick a direction when you're doing that. I don't care for that. Like, I thought I could glide with it, not just, you know, drop all slow. Who's speaking? Is it this? Young one! Child of destiny descended from the sky!
Raise the snow, it's not that. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. I don't know who's talking. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. We can do that, no problem. Get that stank out of here. Master Bowsett, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also. D you know what? <clears throat> One second. Mega Man, Mega Man! I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell clock. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? You know what? Nah, I'll just figure it out the hard way. Understood, Master. Appreciate that. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target. Then point in the direction you wish to search. Mega Man, Mega Man, I know you said you don't need help, but I'm gonna tell you anyway! Thanks, appreciate that. Thank you for that. No, uh, wait, hold on. Thank you, alright. Yes. Nope, there we go. Alright. Is it up at that temple? Nah, that doesn't make sense. There's no way it would be there. That would be a weird place for, for Zelda to be at. Why would she be there? Okay, so you don't have to pick a direction. It just automatically like floats you towards the platform. That's good. That makes life easier for me. I'll take that. I hate this area. Not not this. Whoa. Okay, or you can just fuck up on me. I remember that being a thing too. Yeah, I hated that back in the day. All right. I hate the boss in this area. Like, I like almost all the bosses, but the boss in this specific area, I hate. Letting people figure out the game on their own versus assuming the player has no idea what they're doing every few seconds. Mega Man, Mega Man, I know you have no brain whatsoever because Dr. Light didn't install one. So let me tell you about these sprites coming up. I love Ego Raptor, by the way. Just just to be honest. Absolutely love Ego Raptor. Wish he would do more sequel lighter stuff. That would be fan fucking tastic. Save please. I had legitimately forgotten how much she like interrupts you constantly throughout the game. Thank you. What is that? Just a place to sit? Alright. Take a quick nap. I had lost a heart? When did that happen? I didn't even notice that. Alright, stand I guess. Ahoy! Traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. It's been a long journey from Celeste. Previous Zelda games makes me wonder who in Hyrule are these characters related to? I agree with that. That that is interesting. Tell me, what is your name? Hmm. Bowsette. Ah, Bowsette. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. 
Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves toward the destiny of which you two are a part. Hi Natsuki, how you doing cutie? How you doing today? Natsuki? I love you. What's wrong Kurai? Everything okay? Bowset, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek your whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose you must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The act upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. So basically what we're doing constantly in Breath of the Wild. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. Sure. No problem. Boop. Uh. Yep. Alright. <sighs> Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. <sighs> Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden. The one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents, contents, contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Is it a real shield? Because that'd be great. Confused that I am today was weird. Why? What happened today? What happened? You're ready. Lead through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. <sighs> know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Bowsette, go bravely. No props. Where's this treasure chest you're talking about? Uh, not there. You know what? I kind of like this view a little bit more. Okay. Or you can just take that away from me immediately. What treasure chest? What? Am I blind or something? I didn't see a treasure chest. That's usually the first thing I notice in a room. Uh, oh. Oh, fuck yeah. You got some revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Swanky. That's not a shield, it's just a paperweight that looks like a shield. That's pretty much how I'm probably about to use it, to be honest. Just because of the fact that it has durability. Another treasure chest you can't open. No, we got that one. We're Gucci on that. Mm. Ah, don't ask, just do. We don't pay you for brains. Yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> Laughing my ass off. So again, I was playing with him on that game, you know, most of it. So we saw his ex again. Ooh, ooh. All right, Natsuki, if we're not going to do punctuation, okay. Laughing my ass off, so again I was playing with him on that game, you know, most of it, so we saw his ex again, she tried to come up to us to bully us, but this time he walked away and she followed him and he came back saying she left, I was like, what the fuck, she's usually persistent on her annoying shit, but it's time she just, I could barely make it. <sighs> <sighs> left, so I was like, what the fuck. Cool. Gotcha. Periods and commas. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <sighs> that is pretty much literally how I read when people when people chat at me that way when there's no punctuation. <laughs> Even if I'm not reading it out loud, I still feel out of breath after I finish. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? You guys having a good day? Out of the way, scram! Oh wait, out of the way, scram! I love giving Gorons like dumbass voices. Leave that guy alone. Nope, this is all we need. Okay, never mind. I like that, all right. No problem. There you go. No props. No hits. Well, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Uh, just who are those red pests? I don't expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. I mean, she said that the ex left, so it sounds like that was good for a change. Just found a bit jarring that he made her leave somehow. No, so I'm wondering, like, why did shit. Why did she leave? <laughs> what did he say? Totally misread. I'll take a free hug. Hugs and love. Absolutely. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, bud. I'm G I am Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there was some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. Huh? Okay. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here in the first, all over the place? Oh, my fuckness. Ah, okay. It is a real head scratcher, but makes me want to know more. Does not. I don't. Uh, where's the music right now, by the way? Fucking A. All right. Not really. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can wait. I give. Wait. Let me get to a place with music. Hold on. You know what? Fuck it. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh. I'll just play some fucking music real quick. Five minutes of singing. Natsuki, I love you. I just want you to know that, alright? <laughs> um, any, pro any moment now, program, so that I can, like, do this. Uh, not that. That'll get me in trouble. Not that. Let's go with, um... We'll, we'll go with this. It's been a while since i played this. Until music starts up again. Eh, that's not loud enough. Whoa! 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 What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Now you're gonna stop fucking talking. All right, fuck you. Fucking go around. That's perfectly fine. I don't know what to sing now. Thank you, Fee. Appreciate you, master. Now that you have access to Stone Statue, you can return to the sky at will, anytime, anytime you want to. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo, what the fuck, figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Appreciate your feet. Please stop talking so goddamn much, interrupting me. I'm just trying to play the fucking game. Come on, see? 
Get the fuck out of my way! God damn it! I fucking hate you, Fee! <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, let me to fuck up here, please. Hmm, I don't know how to get up this jump if I can't just dash up and jump across. What the fuck is this? Expecting? Um, I can push it. Okay, push the log yes. forward. I got this. No fucking problem. <laughs> Uh, of course all the text ends when I had to sing, no doubt, every fucking time, this is the bane of my existence, why would I make a redeem, where I have to sing, thank you for skipping, every fucking thing, thank you Fee, thank you for loving me. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains. I can turn off the music now. Thank you. All right. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted. God damn it! Why are you going so fucking fast? <sighs> Natsuki, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the game is just designed to do its own fucking thing for this. I'm gonna just sing a little bit more throughout this to make up for that. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Just keep cutting me off. Perfectly fine. Not offended by that. Farron Woods entry. Please just say for me. I don't even know this song, so trying to sing to it is really awkward. Um, yeah, we'll just pass on through. Oh, my lord. All right. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. I have no idea what I'm saying. All right. Ah. Steven Clove. Destroy the news. Save him down. Oh, hello. More talking? That's good. I appreciate that right now. Please kill this motherfucker. Ah. Striving it, don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, I do need talking right now. Oh, right. It's these weird things. Oh, it's gone quiet. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gone quiet. Kweeku, now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kooee. What the fuck are these green things? I'm fucking out. Don't chase me. Okay, and then the music ends immediately. All right, that's no problem. Cool. That thing gives me noivous, socially awkward. I can relate to that. Okay. This game's tested me. This game's testing me. The music changes every two seconds. God damn it. Y'all remember when we were playing, um, you know what? Y'all remember when we were playing Kirby? And I said, every two seconds, the music was really good. And then changed again. Really annoying. Say my game, please. Eh Every two seconds, there's another statue. What the fuck did they do to this? It's fine. No, uh, yeah, excuse, me. <clears throat> excuse me. All right. I'm just listening to the battle jingle real quick. I don't think I can sing anything to this. It's a little bit too wild. Unless I start making a bunch of unga bunga noises or something like that. Here, die. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I noticed somebody's gonna have Deku. 
They just had your fucking get that's I know, right? I start trying to sing and then Wait a second. No, that's not consistent. Okay. I all I did was swirl the R around and like the R. The right joystick, and then it did the swirly attack, which it's not supposed to do. So that threw me off for a second. For a second I thought I could actually just do that. No problem. This is fine. Wait, I can't sing my sword sing swing my sword if I'm doing that? No, I can't. Okay. Totally noted. No problem. I have detected an exceptionally strong dousing response in this area. You should continue searching the vicinity. Thank you for that. What? Why? Are, let's get, what the fuck? What are you bothering me for? <laughs> Thank you, Fee, always annoying me. I'm so grateful for ye. No, no, not even close, okay. Nah, let's just continue this way. That's... That's just fine with me. You got an amber relic. These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. Hmm. No one knows where they're strange. Shape comes from. Oh, what? Okay. Alright, that's the thing now, too. Cool. Wait, I've already been here. Cut this tree down anyway. Just because it exists. Thank you. Alright, now I feel satisfied. <laughs> Beautiful, my ass. Thank you, Natsuki. I love you. Thank you for using that redeem, by the way. It is always fun. It's just extremely hard. I'm really, really bad at singing. And then it seems like every game that we're playing decides that it's suddenly not going to talk for like three minutes the moment you use that redeem. Like, before you use that redeem... Yeah, but it was inconsistent 10, so I gave extra. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a straight 10. Like, that was like a, that was like a two and then like a minute of not and then like two okay so that would immediately be like over five like immediately after that but but still like it wasn't consistent so i was just like i'm just gonna keep going a little bit i mean i feel like that justifies the fact that the redeem couldn't go straight through thank you very much Kornai. i love you hmm but if fee comes out that's the perfect time to redeem the sing emote. Because Fee won't shut the fuck up. That works. <laughs> when we're in the middle of entering... Oh, fuck. That's the tougher part. Because then I gotta make up some kind of, like, fucking weird-ass lyrics. And if I don't know the song, that shit is awkward as shit. It's fun. It's amusing. But fuck if it isn't awkward. <laughs> Did I already save here? Who cares? Th there's, like, a billion save points. I'm not worried about that. Where am I supposed to be going? Up there? Did I... Is this where Fee stopped me? No. No, this is where I came from. What the... Alright. Map. Map. That's not the map. Map. Thank you. Uh, oh wait, you know what? I'm silly. They want me to douse. That's all there is to it. Okay. Alright. Uh, sure, no problem. Singing the most powerful redemption move. Every time I redeem it, my power goes stronger. You'll notice. Did she really just stop me to make me douse for the direction I was already trying to go in earlier? Is that what just happened? N 
Oh, okay. I'm not going in the right direction then. What the fuck? What? Bro, shut the hell up. Get out of here. Look, if there's anything I know how to do is swing it. I didn't go that way. Well, we'll go to we'll go here first. What's this all about? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, oh, here's the little dude. What are you doing? Um. All right. So, okay. What if I just go up and over? Can I can't. Okay, I can't climb the mushroom. Fine. No problem. Here. Get over here. Get the fuck over it! What? What the fuck is this? Okay, if that's the case, then wh why would I care? Excuse me. What? What? Um. <laughs> what? Fee, you're an idiot. I said the you know, find Zelda, and you're nagging me about this. Excuse me, please, get over here. What am I supposed to do? Swing on him? <laughs> Apparently, okay. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, Natsuki, you'll notice that the Toad voice is actually the most expensive redeem for a reason. <laughs> I just hit the mushroom. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, keep running. I apparently am very much bully here. What do you run to? Do you run someplace else? Yeah, there you are. I see you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Get that blue piranha plant out of here. Yep, that was pointing at the critter, dude. It was, even though I selected Zelda. Um, I don't know, hit them with your sword to destroy it. Yep. Those things, Zelda is that tiny creature. Yeah, apparently the Daos is really, really good. Like, it's really intelligent. Uh, what a Zelda is that tiny creature? No, don't say that, Kranaya. That's horrible. That voice must be excruciating. Actually, I can do it pretty easily. But it does wear out my throat after about five minutes or so. So I was like, there's no way I want that to be redeemable for like 30 minutes regularly ever. Basically. So, I don't remember what... Oh, I was singing for this guy, wasn't I? So I didn't really give him a voice yet. It's spite of me again. Great! Huh? You don't want to eat me? Queen, come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Waifu has become a tiny creature. Don't say that, that's horrible. Tiny creature waifus are in this season. <laughs> Pirates are in this year. <laughs> Keep a leap. I'm Machi, I'm a Kikui. You see, uh, why did I skip that? What the fuck's wrong with me? That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Zelda? <laughs> What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. If you're calling us creatures, how did you know she was a girl? You know, normally when I see creatures at first, I don't know, like, I don't know what's male and what's female for, like, you know, most random creatures that you just see out and about. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Mm. <laughs> a pack of those mean red guys were after a queen, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Eh, I guess boobs are just kind of universally identifiable, you know? <laughs> Aliens would come to Earth and be immediately be able to tell which of us is male and which is female by the boobs. That's fair. Master! We have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow Eve did capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. Fat men with boobs? Eh. I have marked the position of the Kikwi, known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Huh? Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikwi most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction 
due to previous direct contact with Zelda. There you go, Kraya. Hope the aliens are cute. Hmm. Cute aliens. I'm into that. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dousing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dousing to search for Zelda. Thank you, appreciate that. You really screwed me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Keep a leap. It sounds like you're setting on finding this friend and the elder. If you're heading that way anyway, Kui, why would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kui. I bet your friend is cheap with our elder. Okay, no problem. Um, where the fuck am I going? Not that way. We don't care about that way. We're, we're going up the hill. Well, cliff rather. Sort of. Okay. Thank you for not interrupting me. Yeah, I remember that. We've learned ourselves. Come on. Nope. Fortin, it's the one thing I'm okay at. Uh, is it okay to say you have nice lips? Yeah, that's okay to say. We fly on a bike like an E.T. Uh, mmm. I don't know about that. As a kid? Oh, I'm kind of dating myself saying that out loud. As a kid, I didn't really like E.T. that much. I know that's blasphemy to say out loud, but I really didn't. I don't gotta be facing you. I don't care. All right. Give me that. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Can't really see. That's... Uh, yeah, let's just drop. Fuck it. Who cares? What's the worst that happens? I gotta get better at that. Okay. The worst that happens is I get sent all the way back to the start of forest by a trick. Cool. Good, good, great, awesome. I really want to come back here. Piece of shit ass motherfucker. Holy fucking serious. Of course I was going to explore it. I thought there was treasure in there. Probably should check the map more often. That, that, that's my fault. You know what? I, I only have myself to blame for that. It's cool. Ah. That's cool. That's all right. No problem. It's not that long of a jog. I'm not sounding like I'm exhausted. Uh, heights are cool. I find it interesting that the thing that calls them easily is their own weapon. No, is saying you didn't like E.T. as a kid really dating yourself? Kinda. A little bit. I'll tell you that this isn't going to work. We don't even have compatible genitals. I mean, you know, love finds a way, I guess. <laughs> Hi, how, how how are you? Bye-bye. No thanks, I don't want your donation. Appreciate that. That's the one donation I don't want. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah, shortcut back, please. That would have helped like two seconds ago. Fuck back down there. Alright. Stupid asshole on the ground. You fucking serious right now? Pass on through here. We got some more bull goblins to beat up. Goblins? What are they called in this? I don't even know. Hey, how you doing? That's it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna like swing. Hey, stop. Bruh. Come on. Yeah, we're not playing that game this time. That 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 last one was a little bit obnoxious. Oh. Rust doesn't work on them at all. 
I just completely wasted against them. It kind of sucked when I was young too. Sweet skin, I feel you. Uh, after that, uh, I want to date myself. Of course, not Suki. Of course, shattering my dreams. Ah, uh, wait. Was there something up here? What's the, why would I want? Why would I go up there? Oh, that's why. Okay. Now I'm convinced. That was one quick ass leap. Okay, what's up here? Uh, a guy hiding. Hi, hello. Okay, I guess. No. Sir. I see you there. What, what if I just. No, what, what are you doing? There's no grass for you. I'm cutting all the grass. Okay, there's no grass. What are you gonna do now? What? Hello? Thank you, finally. I've been discovered. Here I thought I had a good hiding place, Queen. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikwi in these woods that's half as good at hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course, Queen. Oh, okay, that's that's good. I I care deeply about that. <laughs> oh, we got crows. Which, if this was someone else's stream that I know, that would be okay, but that it isn't, so that's an issue. Um Tindles are irrelevant. I'd date someone if they exist. I know, right? Um well I don't know if existence is the only qualifier that I have. I kinda have to like, you know, dig you. But other than that, yes. Um, relatable. I was actually just quoting a video of a woman trying to explain a bird doing a mating dance why it wouldn't work. Gotcha. You can do this. Hello, Quo. Come here. Murkrow. You, you gonna... Come at me or what? <laughs> Same guys from Super Mario World. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm staying away from this other guy who's chasing me. Nope. Okay. That doesn't quite work. Whoa, there's two. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, that works. All right. Okay. Hey, you bastard. All right. That'll work. Come here. No, oh fuck! I didn't even notice those. Okay. Are you just gonna fly around for like 20 years or You bastard! Alright. How many of these are there? I only saw two earlier. Now there's like Before I kill two, obviously. Okay, which one of you is gonna bullshit me? This is that bullshit. Fuck these birds. Fuck you! <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you for the shinies. There's a bunch around. Okay. Come here. Yeah, come here. We're not doing that again. Come on. Fuck you. Uh, let's see. I'm married to multiple anime girls, so existence is relevant if you're crazy enough. Ah, uh, I guess you raise a valid point there. Just think the first step, second step is personality, but that's just my preference. <laughs> I guess that does kind of help a little bit. <laughs> I kind of rolled the um, personality into the existing part there, so I kind of count those as one step. Can I, like, pick you up if I just walk towards you? No. Okay. That's cool. No problem. I get it. You don't want to hang out. I love grasshoppers, though. What's the... Why is this so shiny? What? What's the point of that? Okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm glad that that exists. That's fine. Uh, we'll go beat up that dude in a second. 
Come here. Come on. Come on. Are you fucking serious? That dude just tried to take a dump on me. What an asshole. Fuck you. What are you, a fucking pigeon? Shit. Boys, I swear. Also, I'm... I'm... I'm starting to notice the game is distinctly stingy with, uh, dropping hearts from grass. That's, that's a little bit of a problem, actually. Um, okay. That, that's fine. There's a heart up there. Let me just go up there. After we beat up this dude. Hey, dingus. Fuck you. No heart. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Mushroom, you take all your anger out on? Yes. You need the net for the bugs. Yeah, that makes sense. Thought you couldn't look for them until you spoke with the big one? Apparently you can. I don't know. Um, let's see. What if your enemy girl is a plushie? Does it count as this thing? Uh, plushie, plushie, I don't know. It's one of those English is tough. Yes, English is tough. Uh, heart, please. <gasps> Bada bing! I didn't need to do all that for that. But that's okay. I felt accomplished anyway. Oh boy, alright. I do not detect a strong dowsing presence corresponding with Zelda in this area. It would be best to move your search to another location. That's fine, let me save anyway. Appreciate that. I'm exploring. I don't want to douse everything. I don't I don't need to go on a merry-go-right. I'm good. Surprise, I like just adventuring for the sake of adventuring. Who would have expected that in a Legend of Zelda game? Hey, how you doing? You good? Yeah, you're good. Splitting headache, though. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Uh, no. I don't like these birds. I'm okay with the bats. These birds I don't like. Fuck off. Alright. I see tightrope walking. I see a lot of bull bull. I see trees to cut. Right, as long as you hit the glowing part, you get gems. That's right, fuck you. Thank you. <clears throat> that is not what I meant to do at all. Okay. Mm. That doesn't work like that. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Side chop, I, well, slash chop, I think. There we go, cool. That's a little bit better. Any other lights? Other than the obvious giant light over there? Not on these trees, I guess. These trees are normie cheese. That's fine. I can't get to him until I can swish whoosh. Or tightrope walk. Okay, no problem. Leave me up here? What the fuck was that? Probably not important yet. We'll worry about that later. That is not where I need to get to. Okay. How the fuck did I get over there? That's where I came from. Humans are full of weird liquid and stuff, no thanks. Mm. And they got some sort of skeleton monster inside them. Fictional webcomic characters are harder than those physical humans. Yeah. Oh! And that's. As, this is part of my experience. Is Bowsy warm blooded or cold blooded? Um, it's a difficult question to answer, to be honest. I have to use like heating pads and everything just to maintain like a survivable temperature. It's pretty bad, actually. So I kind of cold blooded. <laughs> but I still get, you know, 
colder, hot, worse than reptile? How do you, how do I even describe that? English is so fucking hard, guys. I swear to God. Is that a heart piece? How'd I get to that? I, I, I instantly want that. Um, let's go back over here. Oh, we didn't go back this way, did we? We just kind of looked towards where the goal obviously is. Which hard, is hard, that's just a fact. Yes, it is. Uh, yay! Okay. No problem. Try that again. But maybe like a not shitty angle this time? Could you... Just scoop scoop up there. No, okay, you don't do that. That's not the way I get up there. All right, never mind. Fuck it. Whatever, I'll get the heart pieces some other time. It's not like I'm in fucking critical danger right now. How do I get up here? Why don't we use the map? Why don't, why don't, why don't we actually, like... Okay, first of all, mark that guy, just in case. Erla. Machi. Is that just gonna... Yeah, of course. Piece of shit ass fucking dowson rod. I think I can just climb up here, maybe? No, I suddenly instantly doubt that. I instantly regret jumping down from there. Alright, cool. No problem. No problem. Save again. No, they also taste disgusting. Mmm. I see on the side with lots of weird fleshy stuff with skeletons inside them. Yeah, humans are weird. Um. Hold on. Am, am I back at the fucking start? You know what? I forgot how much I hate these fucking woods. Um, okay. Okay, no problem. That's fine. That's cool. No problem. What? Oh, I got Machi confused with the Elder. I thought he gave me the Elder's name. Where the fuck am I going? The wrong way. Here, we can take the log back up. It's cool. Okay. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, take this off the map. This is not important. We don't, we don't care about that. Um. Oh, here we go. All right, we didn't explore up here before. Fuck off. Uh, let's see. Hurt. I'll take that. Hurt piece. I will definitely take that. All right, that solves that problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you don't gotta do that. Okay, that's not that bad. Da -da -da -da. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. Fuck, guys, I just fucked up. You know, I said about um getting that allergy test earlier. I wasn't even thinking about like what was going on. My arm started doing like the same thing it did when we got the COVID arm, and I just reached up and scratched it. Apparently, that makes it worse. That's great. Okay, well. Whatever. I feel like a dumbass for that. Um, I think we go this way. Not really any other way to go. Break that down. Thank you. Break. Can we go breaking plants again? Oh, we've been here before. It's the lovely hole that leads to me being pissed. Okay. I... I douse, but all it does is tell me where the big guy is. I know where he is, I just don't know how to get to him. That's the problem. Alright, we're back in the area. I sure wish I had a slingshot. Maybe I... No, that's the start again. So I don't jump down. I don't go up there. Unless... Am I supposed to be able to make that jump, maybe? Or have I actually not been here before and I'm just mistaking it for the start? I That's probably more likely to... 
That is, that is the case, isn't it? No, this... Yes, that is the case. There was no big ass tree at the start. Duh. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Minies, please. Appreciate that. Nope. Not a fan of rocks. Not those, at least. I'll take that one. That one I'll take. Uh, no. If I try to make that... Yep, that's about what I expected to happen. Uh, let's see. Go back up here. There's nothing else up here, I don't think. No. So, yeah, fuck. I have instant regrets. That's a problem. Good block. Push that over. Yeah, now my arm is like, fuck you right now. That's great. Speed of which, my arm looks like a fucking pin cushion right now. It's kind of fantastic. Looks like somebody went at me with a giant stapler. Hiding up on the opposite side of him. Uh. -huh. I, can, I can barely keep track of anything. You, you, you think I know the answer to that? Excuse me, please. Oh, hi. Bye. Uh, another one? Returns. How the fuck did I miss that? But I can block each one of these guys' things. Whatever. Uh, view, go back to being like that, please. Ah, yes. Perfect. We made it. Finally. Fuck out of my way. Thank you. Wait, am I supposed to cut this, or...? Yes. Okay, good. That makes sense. Giant butt guy. Excuse me. Hey, hey, I am Bucha, the Kikwi Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kwee. You are clearly a master woodsman. Where's Zelda? Zelda! Ah, uh, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looks like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Queen. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing twive. Of course you are. I mean, that is sensible. Ugh. God. Alright. Queen! The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. True. This man is a cross between a pear and a donut. Very true. Um, my arms used to look like that on a weekly basis. Why? That's terrible. You talk about like the stapler had been taken to him? That's that's horrible. Not, why? Solid yes, think this man is a cross between a pear and a donut. Ponut. Ponut! I like it. What? You say we met some of my people, Kui? Hmm. Kui, so much you don't know, Saipe. Oh, there are still monsters lurking in the forest. I dare not leave this butt. Thank you. Two of my tribe are still missing, Kui. <laughs> Could you please search around the area and make sure they're safe? I've been so worried about my Kikwis, but if you could put my fears to rest, I might remember where that girl you seek ran off to, Kui. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback. But he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% proper, 85 probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. Can he do it himself? This guy can't move. Are you kidding me? He's been in this spot for like 200 billion years. I only did the Mega Man Mega Man voice for like one of her scenes. I mean, I've, I, we've got the robot voice for her. It, it works. To expedite your search for these forest-dwelling creatures, unless you're requesting the Mega Man Mega Man voice. 
Which I guess I should make another redeem as well. No, ooh, no. That, that's worse than the singing. I actually don't want to do the Mega Man voice on demand. <laughs> uh, he may cause earthquakes with how thick he is. I used to get blood work and shots every week. I, I don't have the blood to get shots every week. But now I've run out of veins. Uh, so they don't bother me by asking every week anymore. Fair enough. That's asking for tragedy. <laughs> that was the good news. I got certain Cinnabon, 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 Cinnabon. Congratulations! Speaking of which, if we can ever make it out of these fucking woods, I might actually stream Mega Man X Dive a little bit, see how it runs. Um, I, I want to see if some of the options I, I swap to run any smoother. If they don't, I can just be like, well, I guess that's it for tonight. But, you know, if it does run smoothly, I at least do, like, my daily stuff or whatever. Uh, small Final Fantasy fourteen patch. Man, on that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I missed some other messages earlier. Just in the... Discord. Fuck yeah. Congratulations, Janara. Best character in the game. Bowzet or Cowzet? Well, we're not going to talk about that too much here. <laughs> As is Matthias. Fuck yeah! By the way, y'all, I play on Matthias if that was not clear and obvious. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dousing option. Finally! Jealous or desirous? Desirous? Desirous. Yum cinnamon bun. Yeah, I call her Cinnabon all the time. Cinnamon from Mega Man X? Hmm. Beautiful character. Seems to the streamers. Asmon in particular has made all the dead servers congested and all the other servers preferred. Oh, that's actually interesting. I hadn't noticed that. Cool. Maybe we'll get more people on Final Fantasy XIV hanging out. At least on a server that I play on. I don't really go to any other servers. I don't visit other servers. Uh, do you need me to explain? No. Do you need me to explain how to switch dousing targets? No thanks. Additionally, I will mark any kikwis you discover on your map and disable dousing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. Thanks, great, awesome. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. Well, I mean, I'm here to adventure. You don't need to tell me. This is the one thing I 100% absolutely... I agree with most of the stuff in Sequelitis, but this... This was an absolutely valid point of... of, of you know, ego raptors that just, I cannot agree with it more in, in games that I play. I'm already the adventurer that wants to play the game. You don't need to tell me to go on an adventure and have fun. I already want to do that. That's literally why I'm playing the game. Um, hold on. Look around. Look, I'm all fucking bamboozled now. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. I gotta go all the way back around there because there's one over there. Well, we're not going back around that way because that way's long and I don't remember how to do it. And I keep forgetting how to look around even though I've been doing that all fucking game. I'm going to here first. What's this? Kikwis! One and done. I wish. Fortunately, I do think once you have... Oh, hey, fairy. Ba -ba -da -da -da. You found a fairy! This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. We like fairies. Okay. What the hell was I saying? I don't remember. Whatever, it probably wasn't that important. Nope. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, ah! Get, get, oh, get, get that shit off me! What the fuck?! Excuse me?! How do I get that off me? Okay, pressing in the L stick didn't do shit. Now I gotta go all the way to fuck around. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. At least we know the way this time. I wonder how I get this shit open. The door's sealed shut. 
cool. All right. Well, you know, I had no idea about that. I, I thought it was right open, actually. Okay, try that again with less fucking thingies stuck to my ass. Thank you. Okay. Okay, is this really gonna be like my greatest enemy here? Here, come on. Nope, balance is fine. I don't like these. Yeah, there we go. Now how the fuck do I get this thing off me? Get the fuck off me! What the fuck? Get off me! Yo, I'm waggling the shit out of the L thing and fucking pressing it and it don't shoot. Test this out. Okay, it worked that time. What the fuck? How the fuck do I knock those things off me on ropes? It said to press in the L stick, I fucking did that. It didn't do shit. Okay, whatever. At least we can fucking pass now. Jeez. I hope that never comes back. I don't think it does. Like it's so small to fit in that hole. Not that bad. He was crawling. Minus one, that's three quick max. How you doing, Spagavon? How are you this morning? Nope, no, no. Balance. We're good. That I can do just fine. That that's not an issue. That's 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 free. Loop. Not if I fuck up and suddenly stop swinging like a dumbass. That's fine. Uh, how did that not count? All right, that's fine. No problem. So your booty's showing a little bit. No thanks. Oh, they're all moving at the same time. Never mind. I'm sitting here thinking that at least one's gonna block me the whole time. Bunnies. Yo, sup? Ah, oh, my fucking arm right now, dude. Your fireball's red, guys, so that means that you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs are turned to jelly and I can't get down. Think you can help me, Quee? The fuck is that? Get the fuck down from there. I was getting my butt pounded by Furious Rajang in Monster Hunter World for a bit. I know that feeling. Trying to de-rust. I had a choice between recording some Nocturne or putting it off till tomorrow. Hold on. Are you streaming now, Spagamon? You never told me? Or do you do like YouTube videos or something and you never told me? Because... You realize, like, I go out of my way to try to follow all of my Koopalings, right? I was, that was, a, that a, was effective. Anyway, thanks to your safe keep a leap. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you was worried about me? Well, I'm glad you're here with safe key, crew. Yeah. My name's Lapsha. I care. Yeah. If you see the elder, can you please tell me where I am? Where I am? Oh, Queen, my legs are still shaking. I don't hate these guys or anything. I just, you know, I just, I don't, I just don't really care. <laughs> yep, there goes my rupee. Thank you for interrupting that. That was an interesting statement. Which part? Uh, I was getting my butt pounded by Furious Rajang and Monster Hunter World for a bit. The things I can say with a straight face, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Alright. Nope! There we go. Alright. Phew! Climb on up, I guess. How? Cl climb? Thank you. Uh, not that way. Turn. There we go. Alright. Swing with the right stick. That's a little bit weird. Uh, what the fuck? 
Okay, gotcha. It's only the momentum that's important. All right. Push that down. Let's have them to go around like 20 million miles to get anything done. Now we gotta douse. Nope. Sure, we'll douse. It's it's fine. We love dousing. That that's our life. Go around. I don't want to swim. All right. Roughly about this way, I think. Well, I don't know if you're in Sari's Discord, but a couple of days ago, made a post I was very happy to share. Yeah, I'm in Sari's Discord. Of course I'm in Sari's Discord. She's my favorite Tengu. This way, or am I gonna be pissed if I jump down here? Uh, no, I'm not jumping down there. We're going up here. What was the post about? If it's a few days ago, I'm not. I I, I can't really search for that on the stream right now, cause that's that's some digging. But down here, maybe. No, there's no reason to fall in that hole. That hole is just an A-hole. Alright. Or maybe not. If I jump down here and there's nothing down here. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I didn't see this pathway last time. Alright. Now I'm a little bit less angry about the hole. I was the one who fucked up before. It's cool. All right, that's nothing new there. Not, not, nothing new. Can I knock this down by rolling into it? Yeah, I can. It can clobber me in the head. Cool. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't eat me. I taste terrible. Let me go, Quee. Huh? Dalo was worried about me. I'm glad to hear he's safe, Quee. I'm Ulu. Ulo? Whatever. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. Keep a leap. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm gonna stay here a while longer and wait for those mushrooms to go away. I am not detecting any additional dousing responses in the area. I suggest Mega Man, Mega Man! Mega Man, Mega Man! I suggest you go speak with the Kikwi Elder. Th thank you, obviously. <laughs> what was that just now, Kwee? Don't scare me like that. Oh, my lord. I wonder who, after Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, was like, wait a second. All the fans, except for me, all the fans are have issues with Navi and Tattle? Ah, they're just kidding. They obviously want more of that. And then they come out with Skyward Sword, which has Fee, which is easily the most aggravating of all of them. I don't hate her. But I don't really like it that much either. Can I just knock this down by dashing into this real quick? Good. Fix that problem so I can stop having to go all the way around, please. Excuse me, I don't care about you. Here. You yeah? Hi? Hello? This is for you. Fuck you. Alright. <laughs> Nope, get that shit away from me. Fuck that thing. Instant fear of those. We're gonna go around anyway, because I, I remember that way. How the fuck I get lost in these woods? Like one big wide open space, but for some reason everything's fucking confusing as shit. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm currently on YouTube and I hit a milestone. Congrats! Also, you need to link your YouTube to me and, um... Discord. I think that the Navi hate is mostly US based. I don't think Japan had the same issues. Oh, that makes more sense. That's entirely likely. That bad? I'm not plugging in Zelda or most Nintendo franchises. Uh, if you mean Fee, yes. If you mean Navi, I don't really think so. I feel like Navi mostly nagged you. Like, 
every once in a blue moon. You just could accidentally pull her up a lot in the middle of like fights and shit like that. And that was a little frustrating. Great, so all my fellow Kikwis are well. And they want me to stop worrying? Oh, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for fighting whatever is missing, Queen. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where a young lady went. Okay. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Queen. Oh, -ho! I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there. But the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. Okay. Can you can you open the pathway now? I'm pretty sure it's where that moon thing was. No? Okay. Hmm. I think she headed down that way toward the temple, Queen. But to be sure to take good... Be, be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. True. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Thick. I remember Nabi, but I think she's more reached that critical mass for meme reactions than anything. Yeah, we got Hey Listen even as, as a sound alert here. Butcher could crush Link with all that thick. Yeah, he could. My YouTube with no videos and my Twitch where I sometimes stream. Swiss him, you're precious, you know that. Oh, I almost forgot, Queen. Hey, listen. Perfect, thank you, Natsuki. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi hello. Let me just fetch it for you right now, Queen. Pardon me a moment. Um, mm. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. Sure, that's a way to carry things. It's no, it's, it's, it's not any weirder than my pouches that can hold shields. You got the slingshot. Use this projectile shooting weapon to fi fling Deku seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your. <laughs> the hard seeds will stun your enemies. Sorry, excuse me. We're really, really grown up here. Uh, what? Huh? What? Okay. No, you don't need to talk anymore. Okay. With that slingshot, Queen, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. Uh, yeah, well, I already knocked that down. Thank you. Yeah. To get started, why don't you shoot that vine over? Huh? Couldn't wait to shoot it, could you? Uh, no, that's not how that worked, but okay. Well, Queen, I suppose that's a good thing. It will make my explanation that much easier to explain. Understand. Hold ZR to ready your slingshot, Queen. Then release ZR to let a shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. <laughs> now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you. Queen. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Next. Oh my fucking god! Instant fail. Instant. <sighs> Wait. I don't gotta go around that way to get to the temple. I was there before I even talked to that guy. Fuck that guy. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Yeah. Kinda. We just went through here anyway. Who cares? Let's do this the easy way. You got five Deku seeds. These small seeds serve as ammunition for your slingshot. Make sure you've always got a few handy. Yeah, no problem. No issues there. How the fuck? Nah, that's fine. Alright, this way. Thanks for the stamina. Something tells me you're gonna be out of the game literally a lot. Um. Went live. Four seconds ago is Kranaya, have you not just Kranaya, if you look in my Discord and you look in the pinned messages and the I think it's the general tab, there's a post about the default settings of Twitch notifications. 
and how they're kind of fucked. Oh, I caught a beetle. I thought I needed a, a net for that. Collectors often polish the hard carabases of these beetles to make them tougher. It's the strongest of all insects. Pretty sure you use a capture card, but what mic do you use? Uh, I really have the name of that memorized. I can barely English to begin with. Give me one second. Uh, I think it's the Hyper Solo Cast is the name. Hyper Solo Cast. Pretty sure that's the name. Still that stupid stuff? Man, thank you, Twitch. Appreciate you. Best platform ever. Never mind then. I hope I was I thought that would fix that, but apparently nothing fixes it, so that's good. This I need a net for, I guess. Okay, welcome to the deep woods. Ah, gotcha. Alright, save here. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good mic. I like it. If I'm coming through pretty clear and stuff without a, a whole lot of peeking, then yeah, you know, I don't, I only have like the Vegas sense of eye sound personally. Do I just tap it? Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Then shoot, bada bing. Usually get your notification at least twice per stream. Well, that I can't complain about. All right. Uh, actually, I should probably just swing from here. I do like that, if nothing else, the game like reminds you of what the controls are without it being obnoxious every time you do something that requires you to use the special controls again. I kind of appreciate that, actually. Oh, what voice am I gonna give him? I didn't even think of that. Yo, I'm never getting like, I'm never getting allergy tests again, my god. Like my whole arm just feels extra fucked up right now. Deep woods. I'll show you some deep woods. Okay. <laughs> Ahoy! Yeah, I don't care about that. That's just more money. Fuck out of here. Whoa, what are these bees? Get these fucking bees on me! What are I doing about the bees? Hold on, hold on. I wasn't expecting bees. Bees are a problem. I can handle the rest of that. No bees, please. Alright, they. Are the bees still coming? No, I guess they're good. What the fuck? What do I do about bees? Wait, was there a nest nearby and I just didn't see it? Yeah, I'm not worried about you. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I forgot how to do that. No problem. That's fine. Excuse me, please. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to eliminate the bees. There they are. Gotcha. I didn't see that. Okay, scared the shit out of me. Fuck bees, yo. All right, get the. Okay, good. There you go, fuck you. Fucking bees. Kiss my ass. Get that one fucking bee out of there. What the fuck's that? Why is he still there? You, be you better be fucking gone. Alright, good. Fuck. Ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. That was... Probably a bit of an overreaction, but yeah, I, I, mm. <laughs> right now I only have my headset. Fair. Can't stand needles. I don't actually care about needles. That part's fine. The having things that I'm allergic to injected into my skin, that part uh, is not fine. That is the part that I don't like. In the background, you can hear, do you like jazz? Huh? You can catch them with the net. I don't want to catch them fucking bees. Fuck them bees. Sheesh, where them other bees at? Take them out. Also, the net's not this early in the game, so, you know, fuck them. 
Get these bees out of here. What? There we go. Yeah, get the hell out of here. You little bastards. Okay. Uh, what's down there? Oh, death. Good. Let's go. I feel like this was a lot harder with the uh, Wiimote. What is happening? Could you not? Excuse me, please! Are you fucking serious right now? What? Okay, you know what? Back up. Really? Seriously, bruh? Alright, no problem. Fuck you. Get, get further out here? Is this for real? Climb back up. What the hell are you doing? How do I... Okay. I do not understand what it wants me to do with this. But you know what I'm gonna do? Hey, get get the fuck out of my way, asshole. Jackass. Jeez. Fuck these rope mechanics. Sheesh. <laughs> Alright, no problem. It's fine. All right, there's Goron, buddy. What's up here? Yeah, push that down, please. Harder with a Wii mode. I wonder why. I don't. I don't know. I just feel like the the balancing was probably harder back then. Probably because I think you had to do something like lay the Wii mode flat, and then like no, it wasn't that simple. It was something weird. Hi, hello. Fuck you. I don't mean like the game was harder with the Wii mode. I mean just the rope stuff. Uh, you want to grab hold? Thank you. All right, there we go. We might as well leave because we got a stand fruit right there. Okay, cool. You know what I should have done? Yeah, I should have done this last time. Okay, and then just shoot him in the head. Get his attention. Nope, I don't care about the stun. I want him to get over here. Oh, you know what? Here. Or any of that, too. Get that shit out of here. Fuck that. Get that shit out of there. A little bit over. And then shoot him in the belly. Fuck you. Alright, cool. Thank you. Alright, that makes that a little bit easier. Perfect. Now we can just... You know, walk in peace. Hey, I'm walking here! <laughs> Always struggle with those. Introduce an element of stamina to things. Uh, actually, pretty easy for me. I just chose to do exactly what you did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get that shit out of here. Get these freaking prickle things out of here. At least they're not like the, the fucking... The things in, um... Ah, uh, what the fuck was that? Starling. Starling got those prickle bushes that just, like, chase you everywhere. Fuck that noise. Never again. That was a little too early. That was the mark of a fool. Well, we're dead. Turns out Link can't fall that far. Alright. Let's look a little bit faster. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Whoa, okay. Oh, you just take it every way, huh? <laughs> Fun. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Okay, hi. Hello. What's up? I tell you, your time could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled on one of those things just now, and it looks like something I've seen in those ancient texts. I gotta strike off a Skyward Strike or something? Mm -hmm. If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said that's left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see, uh... Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade. 
and may that source master receive aid. So there you have it. Oh, I got it right. Cool. Mm -hmm. I see you got yourself a sword there. What well, you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Sure. Oh. Hey, thanks a billion, bud. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I wailed on it, but nothing happens. Mm -hmm. You know, but I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade. No props. That's one thing we can do just fine, even though I like never use it in battle for some dumbass reason. Whoa, did you see that? That cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly bean thing that shot out of your sword. And where do you think that cube shot off to, anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. The texts say there are cubes like that all, like that one all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. Find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Sure, no problem. I don't mind him that much. I don't mind him at all, honestly. Alright. Looking for bees. I'm, I'm, I'm immediately like a little bit paranoid. You got a red rupee. Awesome. Those fit all in one place. Um, they figured people wouldn't be able to joust. Yeah, fuck that. Gorko is my third favorite character. Aw. It seems pretty alright. Wait. Why are we waiting? Look how big Link's lips are there. What are you talking about? Link's look totally normal. Put this away. Uh, let me see. What up? Okay. Church Justice. Excuse me, please. For fuck's sakes. Alright. I think we go this way. Very kissable. Very smoochable. That was the goal. Ah, uh, this is back the wrong way. Okay. You know what would have been really nice? A mini-map. Or like a compass. Those would have gone a long way. I think those are like futuristic things. I was supposed to drop that fucking log. Uh, Alright. No problem. I'm just blind. That's all. I didn't even notice it. It's cool. That's fine. At least there's no shit in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. I think you move a little bit faster when you balance. Yeah, you do. Okay. And we swing. Or I thought for sure I jumped to my doom. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. There we go. I was so busy just handling the text and stuff. I didn't even I didn't fucking notice this thing. Or like, you know, the entire shrine in the fucking background. Oy. Ahoy! Zip zap zoo! Okay, cool. Let's save real quick. Thank you very much. Surely I can just walk straight into the temple. Right? I don't gotta do anything special to get in here, right? The door shield set. Shield, shield, sealed shut. Okay, I gotta shoot something? Is that what it is? Let me look around. Um, uh, I think so. Yeah, can I get some, can I get some seeds please? Thank you. Pretty sure I gotta shoot something. Uh, 
Yeah, leave me alone, Prickle Burr. I don't care about you. Thanks. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. What's this say? He who descended from above, look to the star with that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon, and aim your shot there. Bird gazing heavenward. Heaven's word? Bleh. Good expansion. Okay, well it is looking up. I see that. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I thought we were going to have to do something long and convoluted for a moment. Swanky. Welcome to the Foist Dungeon. Skyview Temple. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Oh no, I can't douse. What a disappointment. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Thanks. Hey, I suggest you explore the game that's all about exploring. Surprise. Might help out a little bit. <clears throat> However, will you carry on like this? No dousing. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. So I have to make a choice here. We either do the temple today, or we stream some Mega Man late. You know what? I don't know how well that's going to go. So we'll say that for like... We'll say that for tomorrow if I feel like streamer or something. So we're just going to do the temple today, and we're going to just have an extra long stream. Because I want to do extra long yesterday. Not yesterday. Sunday? Sunday. But then the coughing started. Can you just get the fuck out of my way, please? I can just walk through it. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Cut that shit out there. Excuse me? Excuse? Thanks. Now you don't count. Cool. Hello, bats. You are a relief to see after those fucking birds. Let me tell you. Ah, beautiful. Uh, noise? That'll do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That scared the shit out of me for some reason. You got a monster claw! This extremely sharp claw looks painful to even touch. Did I pass something a moment ago? I think I passed like a doorway, didn't I? Like, just ran... Get, get... Get the fuck off me. Alright. No, it's just a turning point. Although it does look like once I get further in the dungeon, I can cut my way back down here. Uh, can I... You know what? Don't even don't even do that the hard way. Just shoot that. Get the fuck... What? What? Okay. Alright. I'll just shank it, I guess. I don't know. Shanky solves everything in this game. Give me that rupee, please. Thank you. That's a little jank. Yeah, a little bit. How's Pokemon going? Pokemon's going fine. I just wasn't in the mood for Pokemon today. I wanted to stab stuff. And swoop stuff. You know? Cool. Um, one thing I want to check real quick. I checked that earlier in the game. Never mind. Oh, there is more options. Okay. 
Uh, those are fine. I kind of want to make this camera speed very fast. Yeah, so we can look around a little bit quicker. Okay, that's a little bit better. I didn't know you wanted an invite. I'll invite you. Poke me on um, poke me on Discord. What? No, God no! Don't do not drink that yet. I would be super pissed. All right, there we go. Hey, beige. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah? Fuck you. Thank you for that. Alright. Just hit that. Birthday stream when? My birthday is not even close. My birthday is like four... Four months. Wait. Hilly, you can message me right now. It's fine. People message me on Discord all the time. Well, not, not really too crazily while I'm streaming, but, you know... Within moderation. Thank you for heart. Mmm, delicious. He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Huh? Okay. Sure, no problem. Hello, random eye. I assume that I am supposed to shoot you and make your eye hurt. You gonna open back up, or...? I gotta, like, fake you out or something, or...? Oh, okay. You don't like getting shot in the eye. Surprise. Nobody does. Gotcha. What if I... I guess I gotta sneak up on it somehow? What am I stuck on? Please stop that. No? Uh oh. Uh, hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm silly. Never mind, I am not silly. Also, um, OGB, I love you, I appreciate it. Don't, don't give me hints until, like, it's obvious that I'm going to be stumped by something for literally, like, 10, 20 minutes or something. Then go ahead and give me the hint. But I do appreciate that. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I've beaten the game before on the Wii. It's just been a long ass time. Get, the, get these shits out of here. Why did it take it so fucking long? Just blow up already. There we go. Get that shit out of here. You know what? Just go around. There we go. Bada bing. Just making sure there's nothing weird. Uh, like this guy on the wall here. Excuse me. Fuck off. Anybody else on the wall while we're at it? Stop. There we go. Thank you. And you can go ahead and catch a case too while you're at it. Appreciate that. I keep thinking I can use the fucking right thumbstick to use move the camera. Save real quick. Go and save. Bada bing. Appreciate that. Oh, what do you know? Hard in the grass for a change. Uh, what the fuck? Why did I pull that out? Get, get the fuck out of here! Alright, have a good one, I guess. Uh, oh. Another point and shoot adventure. Boop. Excellent. Okay. 
Uh, shoot this guy off the wall real quick so I don't have to worry about him later because I will forget. Cool. Was there anything out there I care about? No. Oh, my god. Alright. I will eventually get used to that. Okay, a little quick shortcut. And I guess we'll go through that door first, because I think... Yeah, that's pretty much the only real way to go right now. That'll work. That's a lot better than that last one's. Those last ones, whatever. Uh, what's this thing called again? Skulltella? They look really cool in this game, actually. You still work the same, or... No, you don't. Oh, shit! No, I don't want to do that. There we go. What? Okay, so it takes multiple hits. Gotcha. Oh, good. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know what? There we go. Okay. Let's try that again. <clears throat> My sir. Hi. Hello. Okay, so I do this. Now you're spun around. Nope, that doesn't work. It's got to be the thrusties. There we go. Drop any loot, or... No, you didn't. That's fine. That's all right. No problem. Oh, what's this? Oh, well. Think so. Oh, what do you know? It's a shootable. Um... Isn't that kind of bad news for where I currently am? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, you can swim underwater in this. I don't even remember that. Cool. Even though I hate underwater levels. Alright. Now to get across... I Where's the log that I just saw a second ago? Uh, what's this say? Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one below. Okay, well, we got the one below. Look around. Um, uh, no, we can't jump up that high. Can I shoot something in there? No. Hmm. Okay. I can swim underwater, but I don't think that's necessary here. Can I climb up high enough to get up here from here? Uh, you know, it would help if I remembered how to jump out of water to begin with. Okay, that's that's an issue. It told me at one point. I just don't fucking remember. All right, cool, good. find a shoe. Did I miss something? Oh, wait. Wait a second. It's referring to the previous room. It wasn't talking about that room. It's saying one's below this. Yeah. Th okay. That makes more sense. Water rose everywhere. Gotcha. 
Okay. We have some brain. It's, it's barely existent, but it does exist. Below this door, or below the other door. I'm gonna swim under here. There it is. Hello. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. That's not the hop in this game, that's the drop. There we go. My sir. How you doing? Yes, hello. Oh, well, that didn't work. Alright. See you. Spin? Nope. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not spinning. Spin? Please spin? What? What the fuck? Spin! What the hell? Um, hmm. Is it because he's on the web? Probably. I don't really know what to do about that. Yeah, it's because he's on the web. How do I... I don't think this does shit. No, it doesn't. He doesn't care about that. You know what? Let's drop down first. Stop fuck with him. Let him do his thing for the moment. Anything down here? Like being able to see his weak spot from behind? Yeah, fuck you. Oh shit! Uh um hum. Excuse me. Uh, hi. There we go. Oh, I got to up and down our right stick. I'm silly. All right, drop. I keep trying to do it with the um the left stick. What? Whoa! What the fuck? There we go. That's such a weird command. That'll work though. All right. Acceptable brain. <laughs> we get by. We survived this long somehow. Get the shit out of my face. That'll work. That's fine. All right. Uh, wait. Hold up. How did I get this one? I can't get behind him. Whoa. I can't make him break his own web. Uh, I can swing past him. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay, try that again. Fortunately, it's not a pit. Okay, never mind. Try that. Take three. Third time to charm. Okay, try that again. One more time. Don't get too close to this guy. Nope, stop. I'm trying to retarget. You know what? There we go. All right, camera. Oh, well, what do you know? Oh! I'm doing this the fucking hard way for no fucking reason. Of course I am. When don't I do that? Did you say acceptable brain? I beg to differ. It's a miracle we survived this long. All right, let's try to make the jump anyway, because we're here now, so I feel like I have to do it. There we go. All right. And let's get some momentum, please. Whoa, all right. Ah. Yep. Hi, hello. What? What the hell? You're not allowed to dodge. Fuck out of here. Fuck you. Thanks for the heart. I appreciate that. All right. 
Oh, you look, your belly is looking very squishy right now, sir. Get this shit out of my way. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Woo! Progress. Any hearts, please? Free hearts? No? Okay. Just more. Alright. What about you? You got anything? In a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find a temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike another gemstone to reveal a path. Legends of the Hidden Temple. All right, what's in here? Enemy? Beans? I'm allergic to beans, actually. Hi, Paul Kiss Master. How you doing today? I probably said that totally wrong. Whoa. Probably said that totally wrong. I apologize for that. Paul Keys Master? Paul Kiss Master? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? What's your preference? You got the dungeon map. It shows the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. I don't... Oh, gotcha. Okay, there's a lot of X's. It also reveals the location of the treasure chest, so be sure to take a look. I wonder if I ruled out the compass in this one. Master, I have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing dash. The position of doors and their locks, as well as the position and status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on a map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. That's fine. It's not like I could see anything from a long distance or something with that. Cool, thanks. All right. Let me down. Appreciate that. Okay. We gotta go through these ways to get to there. Those should be the switches I already hit. So raising the water lets us into where exactly? We can climb up there, no duh, but that we already could kind of do. Uh, there's a door up there, so that's probably where we need to go. Okay, I see vine. Aha, gotcha. There we go. Uh, save being you get surprise. I already said being a few times. God, I miss Le Legend of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, it's been a long ass time, hasn't it? <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate the support. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good time. Oh, yes. God, yes. Heart. Woo. I had a streamer ask how to pronounce my name. I tried to explain that it was a series of random letters, so it doesn't matter how you say it. I've heard Krinaya, Krinaya, Kronaya, Krinaya, Krinaya. I say Krinaya. I've always said Krinaya. More eyeball thingies. More spider. Should have rooted yourself to a, uh, a good old web. Bye bye. Just gotta double tape. Thank you. Hey, eyes. How do I get. How do I. Oh, there you are. Bloop. Much obliged. What you got in this? We like booty. What's in here? Ah, you got. Oh, different song? Okay. You got the loot. Okay, that song is good, I guess. I was hoping for like the normal treasure chest song, but it is what it is. It's not the most embarrassing thing I've done on this channel. You've got a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. No problem, that's fine. That's all we need. Oh, it's just the other side of um that one. Well, no duh, obviously. Through here. I don't feel like swimming, so we're just going to go back down through here. 
and leap from here. Never mind, we're gonna swim. Okay. Hey, how do I... Oh, I literally just walk out. Alright, I thought I had to press something special to jump out of water. Bada bing! I really like the lock design. Okay, well, that that's pretty obvious. A little bit high. Really? Are you fucking serious right now? I mean, that was that was kind of that was kind of free. Any more Deku nuts? No. All right, let's kill all these bats. Okay, cool. Let's come get some. See us. Get uppercut. Bye bye. Bye bye. My name is Batty. I want to watch Burn Gully again suddenly. Thank you. Just the way the keys look in this game. Come on down here. Come hang out. Oh, whoop. I didn't mean to do that. But we're okay. Can I actually execute you this time or am I going to fuck up? I'm going to fuck up. Never mind. You're just going to die instantly. That's fine. You got an ornamental skull! These simple, slightly macabre fashion state. These simple. This simple, slightly macabre fashion statement bears the bacoblin symbol. There are bacoblins in this game. Okay, I had it right. That movie. Yeah. Big boy lock for a small key, and the lock must have been there for good reason because it looked pretty big and sturdy. I mean, I would imagine so. Uh, hello. How, um, do I just shoot them in the mouth, I guess? Watch it, please. That, that doesn't really... I'm not supposed to go that way yet. <laughs> Alright, I got you. I understand, game. I get it. Bats, come here. Did I just see... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about that box. Whatever. Bats, come on down here before this guy attacks me. Get uppercut. Where's that heart? I heard a heart. Oh, there it is. Cool. See you. Thank you. Okay, we do one heart piece. We do like that. Oh, save point. We should probably use that. Before we die embarrassingly. Uh, yes, please. Save. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Scully Tully. Go ahead and turn around. Appreciate you. Whoa. Alright, cool. We had a weird angle for a second there. It kind of made me a little scared. All right. Let's go in the middle room. One the time after they lunge forward, stab them in the gums before his head retreats. There's two. There's several that were too far out for me to do that. Like, I would have to be on a rope to even get close to them. So that's not possible. I see how you operate. Whoa. I like this music, actually. I was getting distracted by that. What? Where's my swing? Excuse me. What? Don't change on me like that. You're almost out of bones, sir. Oh, oh. Bada bing! That wasn't that bad. That music was real hype for some reason. No, that's alright. But no, like, once we tried to get on the vine for a little bit, um, and, like, two more popped up. Far, far, not vine. Chain. Whatever. 
two more popped up at the end of the chain. So if I try, even if I had killed like the ones in the front, I wouldn't have been able to advance. That's why I was immediately like, I get it. I'm not supposed to advance here. Can I get some fucking nuts, please? Never thought I would beg for nuts so hard in my fucking life. What the heck? All right. Please. Oh. Okay, Grass. Thank you. Whatever. You got the beetle, this unexplained power. Con oh, mm. The unexplained power contained within this insect shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. Point the cursor where you want it to go and press ZR to send it soaring. Pretty swanky, actually. And it's got a blade on it. Thank you, Fee. I'm really glad that you came out to explain everything the moment that I got it. I didn't want to just try it out and just play with it, you know what I mean? You have acquired a new item. Analysis of this item's insect-like profile and wings indicates it can fly. They just told me that. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can severe threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. That part they didn't actually already tell me, so I appreciate that. Press ZR to ready the device for takeoff. And press right to learn more about its operation. No, I'm good. Thanks. I, I think I've learned enough already just from that little bit. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah. Zoop zoop. What are we aiming for? We're aiming out the hole. All right. Let's go. Oh, it's reverse controls. I don't like that. Uh, what? Is that just where I am or I don't care. I'm flying out. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know where I'm going with this, so that's a bit of a problem. Where am I going with this? Uh, I don't know where the switch is, so... we just watch. I guess we'll just look around until we see it. There it is. Same switch. Gotcha. We have to be get to like 16 pounds of pistachios. I wonder why the skeleton was so big when Link's own skeleton would be so small. Clearly it was like a, a giant bokoblin or something in life, right? It had to be, it couldn't be human. Or Helion in this case. My favorite item. This one's pretty cool, I really like this one. I think this was like pretty fantastic. And now I should be able to get past those guys by cutting them with this. Uh, well, I don't like that the controls are like kind of wacky on controller, but okay, there's no way. I gotta, I gotta like go away first and then come back. Gonna get some rest. I hope you rest well, Spagabon. Thank you for stopping by, and I appreciate the support. Much love. I don't really need a fairy right now, but I appreciate that. Uh, what? Oh, you know what? Hold on. I don't got to do all that. I just cut their stems. That's a lot better. Reset. Did I make that turn? Nah. Now right, come on back out. There we go. Q. No, I like the beetle. I think the beetle is kind of fucking awesome. Okay, we know that those contain health, so we're not gonna mess with that for now. It does make a good surveillance camera. That's kind of literally what I'm kind of using it for right now. How do I get past this fucking mushroom, though? I know there's shit up in there. Okay, maybe it's just too wide. It's, the wings are probably too big. Here, go through here instead. There we go. 
I do wish like I, it had a dash or something though. You know, gotta go fast, sign it. Really? There's just five rupees in there? Whatever. All right, is what it is. Shoot in there. Give me that, appreciate that. Anything else down through here? Just an exit. There's a switch up there that I just saw though. Can you make it far enough, please? So I don't have to relaunch? No, of course not. All right, that, no problem, that's fine. <sighs> okay. What the fuck? No problem, we got it. Oh yeah, we got it, yes please. The beetle. Da -da -da. Two to go. All right. Let's save real quick. Just cause progress. All right. Thank you, Chozo statue. Now let's go explore through here real quick. There's a... What are these things even called? I don't even remember. Deku? No, they're not Deku. Are they Deku? I don't remember. Deku Baba? Is it Deku Baba they're called? I feel like it's Deku Baba. I'm probably wrong. I don't remember. Okay. This looks like a bit of a one-way trip. What are your... Oh. Can't get over there yet. Eventually, I'm sure. Wait, have I been here before? Because that would be bullshit. Here, give, give me this real quick. Oh, wait. You know what? You just do this. Swanky. Mega Swanky. I think I have been here, but I couldn't do that before. That breath meter, it, it makes me a little bit concerned. It makes sense, but it makes me concerned. You having a good day over there? Oh, hello. Hi. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Not that sorry. Oh, that was smooth, actually. Get this shit off me. All right. Thank you. And here's the new dough. What is that? Oh, that just leads out. All right, cool. What's in here? Key? Kind of looking for a key. What? What's the What's the point of that? I probably need it for a different room. It's cool. All right. Let's see. Hey, Beetle, can I fit you through here? Probably not. Nope. My bad. I don't have a key, right? I'm pretty sure I still need a key. Let's go through all these tunnels. That's obviously the point of this. You raise water. That I do know. I'll take that rupee, please. Oh, well, ow. Uh, let me see. There's tunnels all over the damn place. I just need one with a key. We definitely raised water. I just don't know where to go. Oh. I didn't realize I could still move it after it does that. Okay. I'm um, getting the impression the tunnels are not where the key is. 
But I still want the loot from them, so we're gonna do that real quick. And then we'll go back to the past room. Because there's probably things we can do with the beetle that we couldn't do before. Okay. And if we go back here... Water level still looks the same here. So it doesn't affect this room. And no, there's not really anything to do with the beetle in this room. From what I can see. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, unless I want that one single rupee that I don't give a fuck about. Alright. Race water. Go back to that first, the, for not first room, but same room. It's got to be something here, right? So we raise the water. That's good. That's Gucci. I don't know what to do with that. Nothing, nothing. You know what? I think we just hadn't been to the... Yeah, we hadn't been in this room before. It just looked really similar to a room I'd been in. I'm, I was mistaken. That's all right. Doesn't even make sense for me to think that was a room I'd been in. Okay. Looks pretty safe. Whoa, hey! Nice try! Get the hell out of me. Guys, that looks really uncomfy. That's not gonna work. You know what? One at a time. No? No? I need them all at the same time. It's gotta be all at once. The fuck? Top one's not, not helping out though. Hey, Top. What the fuck? Uh, hmm. Get some good rest, Kronaya. Nope, stop sli slashing. Yeah, this one doesn't give a shit if it's just one at a time. It has to be all three. Yeah, we could try that. That, that doesn't do anything. Hold on. Maybe there's something else in the room I need to be looking for. There's a web. Boxes. Aha. Let's come over here instead. It's that old trick of, you know, look around. No? Never mind. Maybe not. I don't really think the boxes are going to have what I need. Let me see. Web. Maybe they do? Uh, let's try it anyway. It, does, it doesn't hurt. Oh, they're metal. Never mind. I thought those were normal boxes for some reason. Probably because that's my only experience with this, with this dungeon so far. Yeah. yeah, we need that. And then what we do is we bring this over and we can stand on it. And then middle eye should be looking at us. And bottom eye should look slightly... Just a teensy bit less cross-eyed. Right? That makes it. I think. Maybe. Okay. Camera, work with me. Over one more time. Okay. Push this up just a teensy bit. A bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Bad Dracula voice? That I can do. But do you want me to do it right now? You could have just said I recommend the Dracula voice for uh, Girahim. So... Do you want... Do you want me to refund that and just do the Dracula voice for Girahim, or do you want me to actually use the Dracula voice right now? 
You got a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. <laughs> Nothing else to you, right? Right. I'm trying to stay up for the fight to redeem, but I can't. Oh, slight spoilers. All right, I got you. Okay, that voice I'll use for it. Your wish shall be granted. Um, Bear, do you mind if you've got a moment refunding Kranaya their 5k points? I don't slay blah blah blah. I've never said blah blah blah. I never say that in my life. Why does everyone think I say that? Uh, what the fuck? Get the shit out of my way. Uh, have I been here before? Yeah, I have. It's cool. Like I said before, I can't remember what happened literally like three minutes ago. Well, no, probably not, but we should, so... If and you don't mind, Bear. Because then I, I'm just going to use it on Girahim's voice like the whole time. Like I was wondering what voice to give him, so it's fine. I think that's appropriate. Appreciate you, Bear. Okay, what's the deal with this? Oh, whoa, all right. What's your, what's your big thing? Not that. It's definitely not just go in and swing on him. Oh, it's just... It's literally just hit all three masks at once. Alright. Okay. I was a little worried that I was gonna... Super fuck that up. But alright, I'll take it. Thank you, MB. Gear him makes thick restraining order... A little bit, yeah. How did... Excuse me. I was doing that vertical already. How are you going to instantly block that? Get out of here. What are you? Computer? Chill. Uh... I don't like the looks of this room. Alright. Whoa. Careful. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Goodbye. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna use the beetle. I don't want to use ammo if I don't gotta use ammo. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. Is that just the, that just the forest temple room? I think so. All right. Okay, I'm seeing ropes. I've seen a dirt. My gosh, there's a flying beetle. Uh, no, I need you to get over here. Yeah, perfect. Bye bye. Uh huh. A hole. All right. Um, let me see. Those, I guess I can, I can shoot with the thing I'm about, Bobber. Nope. No, no, no. ZR, that's what I'm looking for. Whoa. Wait, I only got four ammo? No, fuck that. Never mind. No, put it away. Put that away. Okay. Yeah, never mind. I thought I had more ammo than that. Ugh, I got a feeling that these are gonna cut these vines and I'm gonna feel like a dumbass, but... Maybe if I hit the curly portion? Um, why even slingshot at this point? I like how they give the slingshot first and they kind of invalidate it for all, most things like immediately. I actually appreciate that because I don't like needing like Deku nuts constantly. Okay. Is that the way I came from? It is, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
tape rope? No problem. This is no problem at all with a GameCube controller. Save it a game. We save it a game. You don't like having nuts constantly? I don't like craving for nuts constantly. <laughs> I like to feel like I'm well supplied. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Alright. How the fuck do I make this jump? Because I'm about to fuck that up. Uh, ugh, that that looks way too far away. <laughs> it is too far away. All right, cool, good. And that was the end of Link. Okay. I see a climbable. We've got rope, but it does. It's not close enough. Uh. Huh. I'm seeing a little pathway over there. Maybe go through here first. How did I not lose a heart falling out off like that? That was weird. Over capacity nut storage, precisely. You feel me, you understand. Uh, this med, med is sounds so bad. Look, we know. Doesn't want to be found wanting, also true. Leave this. Thank you. Where am I going with this? Uh, oh, this platform right here. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, nope. Whoa, whoa. Wrong thing. Spooky. Nope. Nothing back that way? Okay, good. Leap on up here. Careful, please. Okay, now we can grab the rope. Woo! Oh, it's the boss key. Perfect. All right, please stop so I can, like, control this, please. There we go. Just slightly off. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. No! Okay. Phew. Okay, no problem. I knew that was going to happen. I knew we were all right. Uh oh. I, I got to climb up. Okay, all right, stop. Stop, please. Scooch on up the rope. All right, there we go. Woo! Give me this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You got the gold carving! Golden, whatever. This strangely safe gold sculpture is covered in mysterious patterns. All swanky like the Triforce. The letter H. On today's episode, our letter is H. I don't remember how exactly they did that. That's all I remember. Something vaguely like that. Today's letter is the letter... That's what it is. Today's letter is the letter H. And today's number is the number A. Whoa. Okay, cool. Well, let's say first, because we'll probably get our ass kicked. That wasn't too bad. I like how, you know like how the dungeon was shorter than the forest was? Because the forest was just that bullshit? Uh, yeah, well that's not really a problem. You don't, you don't need to tell me how to do this, appreciate that. Oh, whoop. Unless I fuck it up a teensy bit. Oh, except for that part, because apparently I'm blind. Bada bing, bada boom, let me in here. 
Like I said, you don't gotta tell me that adventure. I want to adventure. I want to be here. The forest was long because you got lost multiple times. Yes, that's correct. And you had to chase kiwi critters. Also true. Fuck that forest. Look who it is. Ho 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 ho. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. Ha! Huh. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. <laughs> oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This word you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I, pre I, bleh, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title. Lord Girahim. But I'm not fussy. Eh. Blech. Mr. White Lipstick Man. He's doing his own style, you know. He's doing his own thing. Did you really just throw your sword? Foolish boy. What is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? Have at you. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how bad made me feel inside? Furious! Outrage! Sick with anger! I was busy playing Twister. This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed! Oh wow, that actually was a very appropriate voice. <laughs> Oh, hey, hello. All right, that's inappropriate. Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Personal space, man. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> that's the appropriate response. Man, looking like he's going to read your memory card and commit about how much... <laughs> Com commit about how much Crash Bandicoot you've been playing? He needs a therapist. All valid and true. I assume you meant comment. But English is hard, so I understand. Mm. <laughs> 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 Alright, you didn't need to you didn't need to remove any of the clothes actually. <laughs> Uh, hi! Okay, I was supposed to aim for his hand. Alright, gotcha. No problem, I can do that. Oh, oh! No, I'm not supposed to aim for his hand. Uh, sir, you look way too confident. Okay. What? Where, where is he? Ah, hello! Why did that work before? Uh... Crosswise not working. There we go, that's a little bit better. I think it's actually his fingers I'm supposed to be looking at. Yeah, I think so. I'm still fucking it up, but... Nope, he saw that, alright. Damn it! What the fuck? Hey, let go of my sword! Alright. Okay, I'm fucking up. No problem. You know, maybe I should wait for him to try to do something. No? No, he's he's literally just he's just smiling. He's just having a good old time. You sure? There we go. Alright. Do it again. No, okay, gotcha. It's the other way. Um, no, alright. 
Okay. No thanks. I'm good on that. Okay. No out leaping that. I got you. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright. <clears throat> about that. Excuse me. Give me this real quick. Just run away. Okay. Let's go. Nope. I can't do that. I gotta do... I gotta actually block for that. Alright, cool. No problem. Oh, oh. Okay. No thanks. Where you at? Where? Um, okay. Right. Gotta remember that. Okay. No problem. We're learning. We're learning experience. It's fine. Whoa! Hey, hello! Cool! No, no, no. No. Come here. Attack. There we go. Help, please. Uh oh. That was a mistake. Okay. Whoa, hello! Nope. Stop that. Just trying to get my health back. Thanks. No, thank you. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. Alright. No, come here. No, don't do that. You don't need to do that. Okay, cool. We're learning. Bit by bit. Come on. Come here. What, what's that all about? No, you don't gotta do that. Nope. Fuck that. Yeah, that's right. Don't do that. Come on. All right. All right, we got this. We're all right. We're all right. This is fine. Bada beam. Nope. See yous. Woo. Uh, let me see here. Got to catch up on chat. Sorry. Um. Outfit is kind of best here. Garam isn't allowed within a 100, foot, 100 feet of an elementary school. Very true. Uh, outfit is kind of best, though. I do kind of like his outfit, yeah. Although, I, I wish he had kept the cape. Uh, he just has two fingers out and walks towards Link, smiling with his white Karen hair. <laughs> so true. Hi, Janara. I love you. How are you doing today? Had to do a thing IRL? I hope it was an okay thing. I hope you're all right. Why are you being attacked by a creepy emo man with fake lips? He's a bad guy. He's, he's got to do his own weird villain style thing. When the gay emo guy attempts to murder you? Not, not, nothing wrong with that. He could be straight. He might just have weird weird tastes, you know? Like different tastes. I do not like his top. Eh. I love his top and pants and matching gloves. I want his outfit. I fight him for his outfit. Giram's outfit on a lady, though. Put that outfit on... What was her name? Sia? Okay, I'm into that. Doing well, or at least I am now. That's good, Janara. I'm glad that you're doing better now. I'm sorry that you weren't earlier. Well, you put up more of a tight... Uh, tight? <laughs> you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. Ay, ay, ay. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. Well, yes, otherwise I would have been sliced to death. Because I wouldn't have any way to defend myself. I fear I spent... Yeah, why is English so hard suddenly? I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place. Which means there's no reason to linger here. I love Sia. Sia is the hotness. I'm still genuinely surprised they ever put Sia in a Zelda game. Or a Nintendo... Like, first party Nintendo game, to be honest. Do they only have one ear? I don't know. I No, I, I assume the other ear is just like held back by the super voluminous, voluminous hair. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> I like fighting him, though. 
Like, I like his fighting style. It's very reminiscent to me of, like, fighting Dark Link. You know, back in, like, Ocarina of Time. Uh, teasing with those two fingers all fight long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see ya. I'm into see ya. Give me this. Or see it can get into me depending on what kind of hentai you like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got a heart container. Your life has increased by one and is also now fully replenished. Yeah, the Dark Link fight... All of them, because I know that there are multiple. The Dark Link fight is kind of one of those, hey, we need more of this. Like, of all the things, of all the things to make a staple of the series, please make Dark Link a more regular staple. Like, you've, you've done the Triforce, you've done the Heart Containers, you've done Link uses the green tunic and all that. Bring in Dark Link like every game. I would I would literally duel Dark Link who just uses your skills but fucking outwits you and you have to like trick him out like constantly to try to figure out how to like beat him in any game. Because that highlights the combat of all of your games. Like definitely put things like that in here. I can't complain here because Girahim is kind of that. You know, but in most of them there's not really a Dark Link and I'm like, we need that. There needs to be more of that, like, at all times. Even in Four Swords, when he doesn't, like, outright, like, fight you, I was still like, Dark Link, yes! Because <laughs> I'm a nerd. Adorable. Uh, let me see here. A Nintendor. That's the word I was looking for. I say that word all the fucking time. I can't remember it. What the hell's wrong with me? <clears throat> Bada bing, a bada boom, baby. Temple complete. Shazam! Master. I don't know why I said that with a slight like accent there. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddesses I don't know how to do that one mission <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that I can't sing more for damn the spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body you stand in one of these places sky view spring the other is known as the earth spring not to mention it's not really supposed to be a song anyway, so. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. Tabale. You got the ruby tablet. The weather surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. What's up? What's going on? Okay, cool. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. 
I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. Why is she so quiet all of a sudden? Is she mad? Oh. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. The bird statue that transports you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. Bada bing, a bada boom. Oh, it's quite a fee. I thought she was kind of normal, normal volume there. Normal talking a lot. Hi, it's me, Quee. Did you find the girl? Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Don't tell me you forgot your old buddy, Machi. Now I'm sad, Kukui. I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kui, fr Ki -kui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui. Yeah. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon, Koroku. Take care, okay? What are these weird noises you make? Well, all right. We're going to say... Well, actually, you know what? I we're gonna end it shortly, but first we're gonna go back to the freaking thing and put the damn the the slate in, because if I don't, the next time when we stream this on like Sunday, I'm gonna forget what the fuck we were doing and then I'm just gonna be confused. <laughs> I couldn't even remember what we were doing like four or five minutes ago in the temple. I sure as fuck ain't gonna remember that I'm supposed to be doing the, um the tablet. <laughs> if I don't go do it right. Master Bowsette, when you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Okay, thank you. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. She was silent for a few, whole few seconds, so I thought it was weird she wasn't talking her ass off for even a second. That's pretty fair. I know, right? Shit. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. Thank you. Again, I am okay with just adventuring for the sake of adventuring. Thank you very much. You don't got to tell me to do that. Hi, right, I'll take that red rupee, though. Can I even hold more rupees? I don't even know. Hey, please? Please? <laughs> Give me that rupee! <laughs> Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, that was unnecessarily aggressive. I apologize for that. <laughs> Just dive for the statue. That we're as close as possible. Not quite yet. We'll dive right here. Why did it do automatically? I could have done that myself. Why is that open now? Does that just lead me straight back? I think it does. Okay, cool. Alright, that makes... Well, actually, that doesn't make sense because we had to jump to an island to do this earlier. But whatever. It's fine. Here, put this temple in here. Um... Bear Darling, is anyone else streaming Skyward Sword currently? I'm going to check, like, who we know that's streaming real quick. But... Also, Hilly and I will be responding after we finish here. Yeah, if you guys don't mind hanging by for hanging out just a little bit longer while we pick someone to raid. Actually, you might raid Tsukino. Because I think they're streaming right now. Maybe hang out with them and vibe. Let me check while... 
check here. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I'll reply to you on Discord in a moment. Some, but most are on the bigger side. Now nah, we're trying to support people who are, are still trying to grow. Send you a friend invite, and let me send you that server invite before I forget. I like I had just said that I was gonna do it afterwards, and then I do it like right in a moment. <laughs> so, Kino, are you streaming? Sukino is one of our regulars now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they've been here like most of the time that we're streaming. So I'd like to lend them some support if they are still streaming. It looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. We'll go lend some support to Sukino. Looks like they're playing. I don't know what the hell that game is. It's a it's a blow them up shooty kill bad guys thing so cool all right let's do that ah uh wait i'm about to do the command wrong like a dodo there we go let's go lend some love always get support koopa links there you go that said guys I love you guys. Thank you so much for the su Wait, I gotta finish what she's saying. What the fuck's wrong with me? Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Thank you for not saying 20 billion things this time. Awesome. As I was saying, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for being here. Whether it be at the weird hours or watching in the video or joining later in the stream or anything like that. I appreciate you. I love you. Know that you are adored, respected, appreciated, and I hope to see you here next time. I'll probably try to stream tomorrow if I feel up to it. Um, if I stream tomorrow, it'll probably just be Mega Man, you know, Mega Man X Dive because I want to do some of that today. But then I was like, wait, we're at the dungeon. We're just going to do the dungeon today. And then we'll we'll do something else tomorrow if I can stream tomorrow. So, But I love you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic night. Mwah. Thank you so much for being here. Natsuki, thank you for the redeem. Uh, Kranayo, if you watch this later, thank you for the suggestion for the Dracula voice. Y'all have a fantastic evening. And I hope you give Tsukino, love, Tsukino Fox some love. English is really hard. Later, guys. <laughs> Fuck.